Are we on? We're on. My name is David Reed with Dial the Gates, and we are uh, finishing up GateCon 2022 here in Richmond, British Columbia, Canada. Um, I have Evie, I have Jeff, and I have Nicole. And um, I, I can speak on behalf of all of us. We are exhausted. <laughs> Yes, we are. But you know what? We're um, we're lacking in energy, but we've been filled with good memories <laughs> and drinks. No, absolutely. Um, favorite memory from this weekend, and thanks, Adam, for the warm up. God. Uh, Nicole. Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, I really enjoyed uh, last night, just before the auction, uh, while uh, while we got a nice little concert from Andrew. Uh, I got to sit next to Jeff and Evie and Robert, who plays Seth and Valerie, the costume designer, and we had a really nice time just sitting down, chatting, having a really nice talk and drinking, and it was really nice. So I absolutely loved it. it was just really, it's been really nice sharing experiences and talking and being honest with other you know, grounded people. So, yeah. Well, I'd have to say, I, I guess I have two uh, favorite memories from this whole experience. My first one is obviously being reunited with my Stargate soul system. Sorry, Nicole. I forgot to mention that, my boo. Reunited. Because and it feels so good. Because I haven't seen Nicole in, uh, what, three years? Yeah, And this too is long. only our third time meeting in person. Yeah. But we've been talking, like, constantly online. But it's just been really good seeing her in the flesh because she's, like, one of my favorite people in the world. But good. actual, like, convention uh, convention experience, I'd, I'd have to say getting a photo with the Deloise brother, <laughs> the Deloise brothers. Do you have these photos? Are the photos anywhere? Um, we, you want to yeah, share do, some of them? Yeah, we do have them. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a long-time fan of Blazing Saddles, um, even though it's probably not very politically correct these days. It's definitely but, not. No. Um, no. But we got to reenact um, a part of the film where Dom Deloise no, um, plays like a director of a stage show. And they do this really camp dance, and so we reenacted that, and it was a lot of fun. So if you've seen Blazing Saddles, um, we'll show it in a moment here. It'll make sense. But otherwise, uh, Jeff Golka, Ritu Charlie, Season 2, Show and Tell. Uh, well, first up, obviously, my best memory is hanging out with you guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, just being part of the auction for Make-A-Wish was just really amazing, very fulfilling as a human being to be part of something just so positive and helpful for people. Uh, yeah, I, I next year or next time I come, I'll I'll be sure to work on my auctioneering skills instead of just being a Vanna White. <laughs> so that's one person saying that there's going to be another gate con. That's for sure. If there is, I don't know. And I want you to talk about uh, uh, the surprise that we had that we that we made happen here. But okay, can you tee up the, for Peter? Uh, but can you um, Evie tee up? What, what was with Blazing, Blazing Saddles again? Okay, so um, there's this scene in, in Blazing Saddles with, uh, with Dom DeLuise, who's obviously uh, Peter and David's father, and he plays like a, like a director of a Broadway musical, and they're doing this really camp dance. And, um, this is the movie in the movie this part. This is the movie, in the movie part, yeah, exactly, yeah. like a movie inside a movie. And um, it goes something like, throw out your hand, stick out your tush. That's like the lyrics. And so we decided to reenact it, and it turned out so good. <laughs> this is, I'm going to treasure this forever. Um, I'm actually yeah, really excited to show these are memories to remember. No, absolutely. I'm really excited to show my dad, because it's like one of his favorite films, and he's the one that introduced <laughs> me to it. So, yeah, it's, it's very corny, but I was, I was so pleased no, that they terrific. were willing to go along with it. Well, that's, a, that's <laughs> Deloise for you right yeah. there. You want to do what? Okay, no, no let's make it weirder. It like, okay, go. No, that's terrific. Uh, for me, um, I, I, having uh, Peter and David on stage together was, was a given. Uh, David Blue and I had a conversation for an hour outside of the first auction while it was going on, and I did not expect to... Uh, David and I go way back to season one of SG-1, or SG-1. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, were, we were 14. No, um, uh, season one of SGU. And, uh, but we have, we've kind of gone out of, out of uh, lost touch with one another. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, have had him on once in Dial the Gate, uh, season one. But it's, there's been, like, a, it hasn't been a lot lately. And then he and I got to really, really connect um, yeah. outside of the, the convention. So that was cool. Had a long conversation. So. 
Absolutely. I should also say that the other highlight is obviously seeing David in person because we've been... This David? Yeah, you, oh, David. Yeah, you, man. Who else are we talking about? David Blue? Been, yeah. <laughs> the, I see. The I David so I just Davids. been talking about. There's so many Davids. <laughs> David Reed. <laughs> because, you know, we've been doing this um, wormhole extreme for a little while now and um, we actually haven't seen you in person. That's true. For two, two three years? Yeah, three years. Three and a half years, years darling. Three and a half. About twice. Yeah. So, Yeah. Absolutely. Fun. <laughs> and Jeff, I think you found a new favorite beverage. What is it called? Well, it's not a new favorite beverage for me, but it's oh. the it's it's a go-to for a, a local brewery it's out here, Parallel brewery. 49 Trash Panda. I don't work for them. So and Trash Panda, but, but if you're watching, <laughs> are they trying to like get some thunder from the Guardians of the Galaxy? Is that really started when it started to appear or is uh, that I think like it was before actually it? before that, before? but I'm That's not cool. sure. I mean, well not before obviously the comics and stuff, but right. before the popularity. before the yeah. it exploded. You were saying before that you didn't realize that a trash panda was a That beer introduced yeah. me to that colloquialism that a, a, a <laughs> raccoon is a trash panda. And I, never I forgot heard that. until Jeff reminded me and I felt silly. So. It definitely <laughs> predates Guardians for sure. Absolutely. Jeff, can you tell us about the surprise that you and I put on for Peter? Oh, yes, yes, I was... Uh, I, you I, watched I, the Dial the Gate episode with Peter DeLuise, you can see this. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I, I guess you could say, a plant in the audience <laughs> to ask him a question uh, about how it was working with, uh, I think I said that that jerk that, that from show and tell, I hear he's not a very good person to work with or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <you did. laughs> and if he had any memories of that, and but he did, he remembered the whole opening sequence of the episode. I was very shocked. He brought me on stage and he said, yeah, we should <laughs> turned like, to me. He's like, is that Jay? I said, I said, Jeff. He said, yeah, Jeff. Is yeah. that Jeff? I said, it yeah. may and be. Then he said, <laughs> and he said Golka, and I was like, wow. Yes, was he did. That, he that recall of these name. directors is pretty extraordinary. Yeah, and he even recalled that the first shot was we beat, beat for beat. beat. Yeah. And then, well, yeah. you kind of got to relive that shot yeah. again, didn't you? Yeah. It made you walk through the gate. You just needed the Kenny hoodie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought about that after. I should have left this tennis thing off the hood. <laughs> I was going to say, he kept making a comment about trying to like kick you off. Was there some sort of like child labor law situation? Yeah, you can only work. I think Correct. it was like eight hours on set, maybe even less. So they kept trying kid. to just like get you done so that you could like stop working. Cause yeah, the yeah. And then right. depending on the type of or time of year, you also have to do schooling, which is included on your time on set. Wow. Do they bring in a tutor? Uh, they bring in a tutor, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. sweet. And the tutor is required to know in advance what you're working on and where uh, you're at. I, I, in my memory, I feel like I just brought. My homework or whatever. Okay. There's they stuff keep you that occupied. I had to do, and uh, sometimes I did it, sometimes I didn't. All right. But I graduated. Hey. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I did not. So good for you. <laughs> so your first Stargate convention. You've now had one X Files convention, one Stargate convention. Which one, honestly, did you have more fun? Ooh. This or, one, or are obviously. They the same, are they different uh, for uh, different reasons? Uh, well, different for different reasons, but this one just more fulfilling on like a emotional level for just helping make a wish and all that stuff because like x was great and met a lot of people met the fans but it didn't have not to trash on it at all yeah <laughs> that just didn't have like an auction or anything like that so oh, it was just really okay. yeah really cool to be part of uh just helping out something good and being part of a good force in the world is uh, always very fulfilling well you three have really made a connection with one another every time i turned around <laughs> you uh yeah that was a happy you were with my girls accident. and it was yeah. like um we have attached ourselves kind of, uh, to jeff <laughs> moving in on me here you know it's uh yeah still, we, we kind of just still, kept like being like jeff, kind of, do, uh, do you want free alcohol yeah you, you, you want, of, you want uh, free stuff emasculating <laughs> um but you know so i mean i can't do the beard like he can but you know i'm working well, on it's it it's a magnificent beard yes. thank, like, you. Wow. thank you you should have seen it a month ago i had it a 6 month beard and then i <laughs> i shaved it for same here yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is interfering with my eating, and I won't say more. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. And people absolutely. are going, eh. yeah. I'm like, well, then, you know, that's why I'm doing it. So, <laughs> absolutely. Any final thoughts before we let you go? Uh, just great to meet all of you. Thank you for approaching me in such an. Abducting, I was going to say. <laughs> abducting you. Like, I abducted you, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, Absolutely. but it's really cool to actually get to know you guys. and yeah, It's uh, really cool to see, to meet like someone who's so genuine and nice and get such a good personal experience. Well, well, that's you. what these we conventions are all about. We had a blast hanging out with you. We really yeah, did. I haven't laughed so hard in a while, so oh, that's thank good. you. Well, thank you. Well, I'm going to see you on the interweb soon, and I'm sure these two will as well. So we'll all be in touch. I will continue so, to harass you. I need your you. Steam ID, <laughs> so we'll make it happen. Steam ID? I am not on He's on okay. Xbox Game Pass, I'm, I'm, an, I'm on Fine. Xbox. He's on my You're team. A console yeah. gamer. My Whatever. team. Whatever. Yeah, Steam all the way, because you can do both. If it's, you know, 
controller compatible. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, my friend. We're getting back into gaming. Yeah, it's not, it's not, good, not a good topic, not a good topic. <laughs> it's been a pleasure meeting you in person. Yes, you as well. You take care of yourself. You Mr. Too. Darren Sumner, there's wipes there if you would like for the microphone. But um, Darren Sumner of GateWorld, hey he was supposed to join us. Shell Keck Nemron. Hey. That is a sweet t-shirt. Sport and dial the gate gear right here. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, dial the gate were, live. Dial, yes. How and many in, Zooms but, have we done person. over the last two years? In person. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you for prompting me. Do you know what episode this is? Uh, 200? Is complete, 200? 200. No, we're not there yet. No, 100. No. 150. Isn't it 150? Thank you. Yeah. 150. One episode 150. Good, Can we please I give our my cowardly a hand? lion costume. Right, no. No, we're at the like, Summit Last Stand territory in terms of number right now. Mm. But yeah, I completely forgot. Welcome to 150 of Dial the Gate, everyone. And thank you for coming back, Darren. We were supposed to have you um, uh, Thursday night for preview night, but you were stuck on the road. Yeah, traffic. It took a while to get here, but we made it. And boy, it was a gate con. That was a lot of gate con. More, more than the last gate con? There was a whole lot of gate con happening this week. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Gate conned the heck out of this uh, gate. It, it's still not fully really over though. We've still got the bus tour coming up, don't we? So. Verb, yep. adjective. Yep. Jaren, Monday's still happening. <laughs> <laughs> How can I gate con this one? That's good. So give us uh, a favorite memory from this event here. And you did some backstage stuff that's going to be appearing on Gate World over the course of the next few weeks. Yeah, we did. We shot uh, a, a ton of B-roll to give folks a flavor of what it's like to be here on the ground because we want you to come next time. Uh, but we also got to do some interviews backstage with some really tremendous people, people who have been on my interview bucket list for a while. So we spent um, a good chunk of time talking to David Blue. He gave us a ton of time. We talked a ton with Elena Huffman. And then to round out the SGU trifecta today, we talked with Mike Dopud. Woo. And uh, I'm just thrilled not only to get a chance to talk to these guys, and bring these interviews to folks over on GateWorld, but to see SGU represented at this event. Yeah, in terms of like casts, SGU was it, you know? And we had Terrell, who is really an honorary member of SG1, for sure. Um, but uh, SGU really had a major presence here, and I, I am thrilled. I'm so, so grateful. SGU yeah. is just so fantastic. So yeah. Isn't it I'm sad that, that we have to qualify it like that? You know, of course they're all fantastic. Like but we, yeah. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, isn't that, I, isn't that ridiculous? It is sad that I feel like I have to do that. Yeah. But it, go watch it, guys. If you still haven't seen it, aren't the Star Wars Stargate. prequels so good? <laughs> I just are. love that Jar Jar Binks. P. Usa. That part's not so good. <laughs> well, of course, I've. This is only my second GateCon, but GateCon has historically been kind of an SG One heavy event. They started in 2000 when SG One was in its fourth season. Yes. Yeah. Maybe wow. fifth. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they announced uh, for two thousand or two thousand and one that that Michael was leaving. I think it was this. Oh, really? I think it was was it the first one or would it have been the second one in the timeline? And the entire crowd was in tears. They were yeah, experiencing that. Was probably a, the they second were, one. They were. That was here. It was, it was like makes a death. History, that was like you know? the initial announcement. Was it the Gatecon? initial announcement? Oh, I believe wow. was at GateCon. Yeah, that would have been explosive. And they decided that Michael had decided to leave the show. Well, it was like, it was like a whimper. Yeah. I mean, the entire room just started. I, I wasn't there, obviously, so they weren't like. Yeah, the air just went out of the like room. Like giraffe sinking mm. into quicksand. But you know, it was it was just devastating. Did they announce Corin Nemec? Or there wasn't. I think it was. I think it was a Implied? foregone conclusion that right. he that he was the runner up at that point, and that's mm. why he was in um, Meridian, if that's mm -hmm. my understanding. Mm -hmm. That was. Uh, yeah, I, I love Corin. I don't think it had been announced yet that Corin really? was going to come back, and uh, by the time his casting in Meridian was known, it was yeah. clear that he was he was going to be a full time cast member in season six. Him and but Michael had great chemistry as well, though. Like I'm, yeah. I, I'm oh, sad they didn't to get to hang out together back. more. In Fallen and Homecoming, David seeing them work together, mm -hmm. it was good a blast. Time. This is terrific. Um, David Blue, see if David would be interested. Thank you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry, Darren, you've got to get out of here. We've got to try and replace you with other people. No, I <laughs> no, hear, kidding. I hear. What interviews can we expect to see? Uh, so this week we talked with uh, Elena and David Blue and Mike Dopood. Oh, great. And uh, we finished up this evening with Peter Williams, 
my first interview with Apophis himself. Oh, wonderful. Ooh. That was fantastic. I got two system lords today. We Did got Jack back off of the conversation that we had with him revealing that he was the father, kind of like a pseudo father of Gateworld? Yes, I brought up the anecdote that we told on stage mm -hmm. that okay. his his return in Jolinar's memories was the the spark that lit From the this flame day of Gateworld. Forward, you will call me by my true name. Uh, Apophis. And then chills, actual chills. We talked with uh, with Eric Brecker, who was one of the unsung heroes of SG One. He plays Colonel Reynolds. Mm. Uh, I he's in sat down with him. Sixteen episodes. Yeah, and I got a special oh. message for David from Eric Brecker. You're gonna love. For me? Yeah. Oh. I'm jealous. Oh, that's I want to see this. I've wanted to have him on Dial the Gate. I said tongue in cheek. Special message. Don't get oh. your hopes up. Oh. Oh wow! But okay. uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think I told him. <laughs> I think I told him that he he needed to be on dial the gate, and he should expect to, oh. to get something from you. Uh, I I have communicated with him, and the notification I got back says, "Message seen," and that's where it is. So, okay, Eric, well, I'd love to have you. Yeah, we hope it works out. He was a lot of fun to to talk with and sit down and and have a conversation wow. with. But then, boy, Eric on stage, you would never really? imagine that Colonel Reynolds. It was, cut up? would be the guy to be the cut-up on the I'll on stage. Yeah. yeah, he's got great energy on stage. Wow. We talked with him, and we talked with uh, with David Nichol as well. That's great. A lot of them have such amazing, like, energy. Like, honestly, their presence on stage was just so fantastic, and they're all ripping off each other really beautifully. And yeah. you could feel the energy coming off the stage, and it was really special. You could almost, yeah. like, think that they were, like, entertainers or yeah, something. I know. Can no, you believe no, it? That's it. You almost think that they, like, they, like, want to make people happy for a living or I know, something. I know, I know. So, Big that's surprise. really legit. <laughs> so, what did you think of me pulling you out to, to take over my interview with Peter for a minute? Were you expecting that? Uh, me to tell the story? When we told the, the Jolinar's memory story? Yeah. I was not expecting it. <laughs> okay, good. But it was a joy because, I mean, it means so much to me. That episode means so much to me. It means so much to all of us. And so... Uh, us. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's, collective it's, us. It's paid a big part in uh, mm -hmm. it, where you and I have, have gone over the last two decades. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been in Peter's orbit for a while. I've been to a few conventions that Peter was at, and I've kind of, you know, exchanged looks with him from a distance. And, and uh, you know, he's Apophis. He, he's a little intimidating, maybe. Uh, but, yeah, I finally met the guy right. and got to know him and chat with him. That's the magic of GateCon. And that's what GateCon can do. There's an accessibility. We hadn't met you before, Evie and I. We hadn't actually physically no, again, met you in person. No, again, just through the Zoom screen. Exactly. So. And it's always three in the morning for you. It yeah. is always three in the morning, so it I definitely look a lot, will more, be. a lot more alert now. Prepare to, to watch me be a lot more tired I was going to say, we should have planned a trivia night here, the four of we us, get, see yeah, how we well should that do goes. A live <laughs> trivia competition. Uh, where she's actually awake, maybe she can answer some more questions. Yes! That was probably, a better was chance. probably the, the reason why I suck so badly. We should have done tired. it this time, <laughs> next year. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just arm wrestle like David did with uh, David Deloise last time. Yeah, and last all of uh, one thirty second Wait, of a who second. Won? Who do you think? Thank you, though. I, I, I appreciate the, the question as uh, if the say, answer nice. isn't automatically Thank obvious. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Flabby arms. Flabby? I just saw something there. What are you on about? <laughs> this doesn't grow on trees. You also don't wrestle with that a lot. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Well, um, I am always thrilled when you come and join us and uh, have anecdotes to share. I'm glad you've managed to come back to another gate con and experience once again what i have taken for granted for 20 years yeah, so this has been much. this has been your home it's been my home for 20 years and yeah. i lived vicariously through you for a long long time and watched your pictures and watched your interviews and finally in 2018 mm -hmm. i said now's the time i'm going to gate con and boy yeah. i'll tell you coming back to my second gate con i it really feels Correct. like family Correct. I was because feeling now stuff you have the out, family not sure feel. where I fit the first time. So all those people this year who raised their hands and said this was my first GateCon, next time you're going to feel be like time. it's it's family. If Correct. you don't already, you're going to feel like it's family. That's exactly right. Thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate you. Pleasure, brother. All right. I'll who's see get, you on the other the side. Next? We'll find out right. after these messages. You can switch it off, though. Thank you. But, I mean, we're not actually going to messages. The three of us are. Um... 
having him here means such a great deal to me because, um, uh, you know, he is family. So, and to have him part of the extended family here is just always, um, it's important to me. So, but uh, I think we have uh, someone else uh, special who I believe- My hero is approaching. <laughs> I believe I've mentioned once tonight. Um, turn that on. And uh, he may have come from a billion galaxies away, but he's looking great because he got his steps in on the way. So <laughs> he looks fantastic. That's is that my cue? Come that's on in, cue. brother. That was the dorkiest intro I think I've oh, ever Oh, I can heard. do dorkier. I love it. Mr. David Blue. Hello. That's terrible. Why did I say hello like that? Let's try it again. Mr. David Blue. Hello. Is that one better? <laughs> was that better? <laughs> How dare you? Sorry. I have Sorry, been known man. to be like, you know what? That's not good. Let me leave the room and come back yeah, <laughs> and I'll again. start the scene over again. Oh, that was weird. Um, sorry, I didn't see. There's I, a delay there, yeah. A little bit closer. Yeah, don't look at it. Is it it's, it's not that strong? It's, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's well with the talking, so. Oh, got it. Hi, hi, hi. You'd think after two years of being on Twitch that I would realize no there's a delay there and where the mic is and you know, being an actor and all those things. Is apparently. your delay always exactly the same on Twitch? No. Because every time mine's different, it's like, oh, I've got this. And then I'm like, oh, that went on air. I didn't want that. It drives me nuts, <laughs> especially when you're playing, you know, because I do everything from interviewing to playing video games to, oh, yeah. to all that. But it's, it's annoying when you're playing a game and people are trying to help you because they're like 20 seconds behind. Right. So yeah. I'm like standing over a precipice about to die. I'm like, what do I do? And then I'm just yeah. Gotta wait. <laughs> Yeah. Give it a few it. years, and that is going to go away. Will Hashtag it? first world problems. Oh, yeah. No, I feel they'll, like they they'll... do it for censorship slash bandwidth. This is a nerd conversation. Yeah. Uh, bandwidth purposes more than they do for technology. Purposes. There's probably that, but I mean, like, on YouTube, I can get a five-second, four-second delay. At that point, you know, it's relatively instantaneous. I don't know if we're doing that right now, but, I mean, it get any I, much closer than all that. All I'm thinking then. is space balls. Whatever's happening now is happening now. <laughs> is that then? When? Now? Now. <laughs> Sorry. How's everything going? How are you? How did, did you have fun? What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you are guys? We? Where are we right now? Uh, Richmond. Ah. Uh, <laughs> right? Vancouver. Vancouver. Oh, awesome. what? Yeah, I know. Right? Can you believe it? <laughs> what is your Twitch handle? My Twitch handle is 4DavidBlue, the number 4DavidBlue, because I couldn't get my regular name. <laughs> Why? So, because there was already one. Because I only joined Twitch at the beginning of the pandemic. Um. And everyone else was already on it. Um, and this keeps happening to me. I joined Twitter early, so I got at David Blue. Instagram, I joined late, so I'm David underscore Blue. My website, I got late, so I'm David <laughs> uh, David's, uh, hyphen Blue. Twitch, I'm for David Blue, because I couldn't get any of the previous ones. <laughs> um, and then I sort of stuck with for David Blue for, like, my store and other, my merch store and other things, because I want to... I'm so jealous of Ming-Na, because when she joined, she had a different name, and she was able to reclaim her name. Oh. I didn't mean to rhyme. I'm not oh, like well, Dr. Seuss. she had the, the when at the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think she even, in one of them, maybe Instagram, she had like a hyphen or something like that. Yeah. But I reached out to, the, this is so boring, I'm sure, but uh, I reached out to them to see if I could switch, because I just want to be David Blue across everything. Yeah. And the, it's just never available. No. Yeah, yeah, I had the same issue, so I changed my Twitch handle. To You're some... David Blue. No, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's precisely the same <laughs> issue. What a coincidence! No, no, I added someone stole, and then my thing, just, oh. to, just to make it funny. So whenever I'm comment now, people see, oh, someone stole this, that, and the other, and they make a joke out of it. So see, it's uh, it's just so inside baseball, but it's such an annoying <laughs> thing with with branding, for yeah. lack of a better yeah. term. Yeah. Because there are some great people. Like I know some other streamers. I've met so many fantastic streamers. For somebody who had never been on Twitch until the pandemic, I've met so many wonderful, supportive people. My friend Frisk is Frisk, and it's very simple, and, and it's just a really easy way for her to go. Uh, there's a guy I know, Julian, and, and, and all, Jason Sully is his name. But then there's some people who have like funny, silly names, and that's kind of become their brand, and they can hold on to it. But as an actor, your brand is your name. Correct. So and, you'd like some consistency. And it's not like, as many people hear my name and go, oh, it's so unique. There's a lot of David Blues in the world. Yeah. Apparently. I'm the third one on IMDb. I, I'm David Reed, R-E-A-D, number six. Yeah. So <laughs> I get it. David Reed, number six. I'm You're David right. Reed, number six. <laughs> it's wild. It's, it's yeah. really, really strange. Uh, I don't, we live in such a weird time. <laughs> one of your best convention memories from GateCon. 
Oh, I love it's that you're asking this at the end when my brain's not functioning. Well, it's, yeah, that's true. It'll probably be fresher tomorrow, but. Um, you know, it's, it's silly, because for me, it has nothing to do with what you would normally expect. Mm -hmm. Like, I loved going out to grab a, a cab to go get dinner and seeing everybody singing happy birthday to one of the fellow attendees. I love hearing somebody's story that I'd never heard before. I think Elena told me something today. I'm like, how did I not know this? I've known you for a yeah. while now. Um, every inter This is going to sound so saccharine and cheesy, but every interaction <laughs> for me, because as I said before, I love what I do. I love acting. I love being on Stargate. I love sci-fi. I love all of that stuff. And that's like, that and a paycheck <laughs> is literal payment enough. So to come to a con and meet people who either liked it or want to talk about it or care that I'm there and want to deface something with my signature hmm. is kind of like, that's <laughs> <laughs> what it feels like. I was going to say I'm something like, really inappropriate. I'm holding it, ruin it Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> what were you going to say? Uh, dude, I don't want to talk about it on okay. stream. <laughs> okay. Now I'm curious. Um, it, it's wild. It just feels like... I'm used to the other side of the table being the fan, so it's weird to be on that side. So a lot of mine are like the personal interactions I've had with people, the fun random talks over drinks. Um. But as a nerd fan yourself, you know the value of what you're providing to someone who is paid to come to an event like this as well. You know? Yeah. And with GateCon, you get your money. I mean, it's, your money is, what's yes. the word term I'm looking for? It's well spent. Yeah, because, you know, you know to, to pat the GateCon people on the back, any convention is fun. I love doing conventions. Everything from San Diego Comic Con to Dragon Con to Calma to GateCon to all to all those. They're all very different. Different in size, different in location, different in vibe, whatever. But a con like this, which has a bunch of people, but is also small enough to feel like a family, uh, you get to not just see somebody once, sign an autograph, have one quick conversation, and then goodbye. Then you talk to them later, and then you see them tomorrow, and you kind of get to know everybody, their faces. This is their my names. second time meeting you because I met you at Kalmar and then now at GateCon, and I've seen you so much over the weekend. And who are you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for that. There's a continuing conversation. A, yeah. a bit of me dying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. But no, it's really nice having the consistency across the board, and you, you remember everybody, and you pull people aside, and you're just yeah. so um, generous with your energy. And mm -hmm. I and I think that's one of my favorite things about interacting you. with you. Let overall. me just slosh it on top here. Um, the uh, uh, yes, well, there's some sloshing coming. Um, we were all just going through what our favorite memories were, mm -hmm. and mine, a big one of mine, was with the Deloise brothers. But that was anticipated. What wasn't anticipated was was spending time with you outside of the hall mm -hmm. and really get oh, to, getting to know you again. Yeah. Because from the beginning of SGU, from our first phoner, um, I've always felt a kinship with you, as many of you know the viewers have, because you are the the accessible one to the you audience. Are us. You are. You know, mm. you are the Tom Paris of to caretaker. Oh. Eli is to uh, air. I'll take that. You know, he's the one who's the one who's the in for the show, and um, it's a continu always just a but pleasure there, there to continue to spend time with you. There you go. There's a good example. You know, like I come down yeah. for a, a banquet to pop in and say hello, and then end up having like a long conversation mm -hmm. with you outside the door about everything. From yeah. Nerd stuff we like. It was Stargate spontaneous. Yeah. 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 I that's, that's the thing that I love about GateCon. You can't get that at some of these other events that I won't name. But see, that goes back to, and I, I probably shouldn't keep telling this story because I don't know if she wants me to, but it always goes back to what I've said about Amanda Tapping. Yeah. I, uh, those of you watching at home, I, I have said before that I was unsure if I wanted to do my first con. I felt weird about it because it felt selfish. Like me, like I'm going to go get attention and I'm going to go have people want my autograph. Were you and, still in production? Uh... I think we had just started production. Okay. Because I was one of the first people in SGU to do a con, I think. Yeah. I think they flew me out to London very early on. And I, I just felt weird about it, especially having gone to a con when I was younger, right. a Star Trek con. Right. And she said, wonderfully, and I tell every actor that I run into this, especially when they're nervous about doing a con, I'm like, it's not about us. We are the band on the cruise ship. Yeah. And that metaphor works perfectly because it's a cruise ship. The convention is everyone's here to see each other. The people have been here before are here to see their friends again. It's like a reunion. The people who haven't been here before are here to celebrate a thing they love, feel welcome amongst others who they know love that thing, probably drink too much, probably uh, laugh, sometimes dance, sometimes karaoke, depending on the con. And our 
job and also what's fun is to be the entertainment. It's to provide the experience, provide the laughs, host some stuff, tell some stories. And once I learned that and accepted it, I started having so much more fun, which is why I tell other actors it. It is literally like a, a, a high school reunion. It is a, it's a celebration of life. It's a bunch of people getting together to have fun and talk about what they love. And it's really impossible to have a bad time during that. Absolutely. You know? And there's a shorthand because we all love the same stuff. Yeah. I mean, the number of conversations, not just about Stargate, but about Star Trek, Battlestar. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about everything. Control. Gaming. Control. Control. We've Please talked about the game Alan Control Wake. a hundred times. Alan Wake. <laughs> I, look, look I have it. a game on my it's wish on list because of you. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I'm going to buy it for you. <laughs> See, you get free it. games. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a wild experience. And I've done my best for the past many, many years to tell everyone who was ever like, I don't know if I want to do a con or whatever. Yeah. I tell them that and more because yeah. Try I don't one. think I would have known. Oh, okay. I don't think I would have known. Um, it's, it's a strange experience, but I don't think that I would have known had I not tried. And now I want to do as many as possible. I always have. I tell everyone, like, is there a con in your area? Tell them to invite me. I'll come because it's fun. Is there a fear as a younger actor at all <laughs> of, of being like, oh, I'm going to be that guy who's always at a con. I'm going to go to the opening of an envelope. Yep. You I mean, know? there's a fear. I mean, I have imposter syndrome and a bunch of other issues. So. Yeah. There's a Join the club. That and more with yeah. all the time. Anyway, yeah. I mean, I can get invited to my own birthday party and feel like I'm a I'm a burden. Uh, but for sure, there is. You don't want to be. You don't want to overstay your welcome. If I'm being completely honest, I, I would say a lot of actors I know feel this, and we just kind of stuff it down. But there's also a little bit of sitting behind a table of pictures of yourself. Yeah. Right. And you immediately think no one's going to come to this table. Yeah. Yeah. Most actors I know. <laughs> A lot of actors I know are sitting there going, this is going to be really embarrassing because yeah. no one's going to come. I just want to add on to what you said earlier. You were saying, like, you know, you come to the con, you're, like, the entertainer at the mm. convention. Hopefully. I, I wanted to say, like, thank you for putting so much effort into, like, making the experience so great. I don't know if you guys saw, but you had the uh, little cardboard cutouts of the face This mask was so cool, with Dave. With the, you know, you are here. I shirts. saw these picture. Do we, you, where, can we do have a couple of, oh, of the ones from it, if you don't mind us sharing? They were so before cute. I get, so before fantastic. you guys throw too much wonderful praise on me, just to be clear, yeah. this was not my original idea. Oh, okay, that's fair. No, uh, but, but you went and did it. You didn't. Yeah. So cute. You know? can, yeah. we, can we show uh, that one? Can we so, show that one? So just as the, the heads up, uh, some friends of mine uh, have done something? this, and actually one of our wonderful community members on Twitch pointed it out to me that Ann Wheaton and Will Wheaton had done this for Will for conventions. They had printed up a picture of his face, and he wore it over the mask. And when they sent me that, I had got, I landed here, and they sent me that, and yeah. I was like, "That's a really good idea." I had originally just, I had a, how, how old is the audience watching this right now? Uh, old it's, enough. It's, this is this is content that is not approved for little kids, so you're cool. good. Uh, so, so PG thirteen. Two three weeks ago, I had the idea to print up a very special face mask, and I was thinking of the "You Are Here" face mask. And I, I just wasn't sure, so I just didn't do it. And then when uh, Paperclips on the Twitch channel sent me the picture of Will holding up the thing that Anne made him, I just randomly had an idea like, oh, I can give people options, kind of like props Correct. for photo ops. You had your own face one, didn't you? I had two. I had a smiling one, a serious one, a You Are Here shirt. And just and like I just, just a different expressions. And, yeah. I, and I, I made them. Of your face. <laughs> yeah. Which it's is, by so the way. so cool. Wonderfully awkward to go into a, a, a Staples, send them three pictures of yourself, yeah. and be like, "I need this on cardstock." It's really weird, but I, I thought it. I'm glad people liked it as much as they did. But I just, I, I get sick easy. I'm really careful yeah. with, with COVID yeah, and the pandemic and all. And I felt terrible when I, when I said I was going to wear the masks in the photos. I literally thought nobody would want one. No, but this is, you no, have to take care so of yourself better. first. No, t totally. But this is actually yeah. a compliment to the fans. When I went to go make these things, it's because I heard there might be one or two people who wanted a picture. And so I wanted to make sure they, they had a good time, they could yeah. feel like they saw me. And I was wonderfully surprised by how many people still had a photo op with me before they even knew I had yeah. that thing. People were respectful of my wishes. Uh -huh. This goes back to why cons are great. Respectful of my wishes. We had a blast. From yeah. what I've heard, everyone who we did photo ops together was you did really something happy that was with unique. It. This and is my second it. photo, and that thing's my favorite, you know? Oh, yeah. You kissed Maybe me in the last totally one, and I unique, prefer this. Maybe not totally unique, but you didn't hear. 
I'm yeah. that bad at kissing? No, you kiss oh. me on the head. You know? <laughs> Matt, I don't know. We'll find out later. Yeah. Well, well, oh, oh, oh. I'm joking. I'm going I'm I'm to get joking. beat up. I'm going to get beat up. Um, no, but it's, it's, it's a testament to them. And also, thank you, Will and Anne, for the idea. Mm -hmm. But I, it's a perfect example. It's here to have fun, you know? Mm -hmm. I think if you don't, if you've never been to a con and you think there's a photo op, you just imagine it's like an awkward prom photo. Right. But it's not. It's laughing and being silly. And I think Paul McGillian laid across some people <laughs> who were like kneeling on the ground wearing a kilt. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my like, gosh. it's but, about having a good time. But well, in this case, you're taking something that's a product of our time and turning it into something that people at the very least are going to look at and make them smile. I hope. Or in my case, I was like, look at that. That is clever. That's clever. Doing something in addition to the mask that twists so. it upside down. And I mean, the ex your expressions as well were just terrific. I was going through and it's like, these are really fun. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's an experiment in Comedia dell'arte and having to yeah. act with this part. Right. Doug Jones, you work, you work really hard. Uh, <laughs> but also, you know, not to make it a negative thing about, you know, the pandemic and the time yeah. we're in and all that. I didn't think a lot of people were going to want a, a hard copy reminder of this yeah. when we're over it. Not good. You know, right? Yeah. So I thought, why don't we make it fun and Stargate related? And it kind of worked out. Absolutely. So thank you, Paperclips, Ann and Will, for the idea. Absolutely. David. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. Thank I you. really appreciate thank you, you for having me. Thank, thank you. you. I, as, as always, I, I, I love you and your character. You're just fantastic. <laughs> no, you are. You are. <laughs> Stop it. You are. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all. Love you. Thanks, brother. Talk to you soon. I love Linda. that man so much. Linda. I want to make it clear, it's a healthy obsession. <laughs> Hi. Um, can you do me a favor? Can you track down Remington and have him get the wooden thing from upstairs and his new glowy thing and have him bring them? Well. Yeah, Remington is in here somewhere. Glowy thing and wooden thing. The glowy thing and the wooden thing. Yeah, we can do that. Jenny, Jenny, you're on. Huh? It is time, Jenny. It is time. Get on here. Let me grab a uh, water because I got chocolate in my teeth. And then um, after we do. We're on live. <laughs> Just to let you know. Well, I'm going to talk about the giveaways for the volunteers that people okay. can't have. I'm so sorry. So we should get someone else on first? Well, no, we'll do my thing and then we'll do it after that. Okay, sweet. Right, let me get Yay. Over. Sounds good. After. Uh, oh. You know what? Yeah. Should Adam. Fun? Adam, you're, you know, you're always asleep. So let's bring you on. Grab the thing. <laughs> so, Evie, if you can provide some context. Oh, okay. So this is my husband, Adam. God, my boyfriend's going to be so jealous he doesn't get to do this. Come on. Um, he's actually the person who introduced me to Stargate. So, get on I mean, that. he's the reason why I'm so obsessed with, um, with the series. So when we do Wormhole Extremists, mm. you are asleep. He is. He is usually asleep. <laughs> Let me just suck in my gut to make sure it's hung. Sometimes, yeah, it is. Okay. Sometimes he's a little bit awake to help you with the uh, with the tech stuff as you're about to do it. Yeah, so. he's yeah, a I'm, lot I'm, more I'm, tech savvy than me. Yeah, I'm often forming things out last minute for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was this your first Stargate convention? Yes. What'd you think? Loved it. Really? Yes. I said that like, really? Like, it's <laughs> a surprise. Duh. <laughs> How is that possible? Oh, good. What is a favorite memory from this event? Oh, uh, look, I've got a, I love Apophis. I think he's a great character, and Peter Williams is just, just such an incredible guy. So friendly, um, so welcoming, uh, very easy to talk to and approach, um, and um, it's probably my best photo with him, to be honest. So It's a brilliant photo, guys. Yeah. There's no one there to go reach it's, over and grab uh, Yeah, there's now no one photo. there to reach over. I've been reaching over and But uh, we will play this momentarily when... You step yeah, off, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll grab it for the next person. Yeah. Wow, so. How long have you been in, uh, invested in the show? Ooh, I was like eight or 10 when my dad introduced me to it. Okay, so you really did mm. get yeah. introduced. Oh, wow. I got introduced to it really late. I was in um, probably like my mid 20s, which is a while ago. <laughs> Has sure. it been 10 years? Yeah. It's been a okay, while. so he didn't introduce you to it. No, he no, did. I did. Okay. Yeah, he did. Okay. They've been together a long time. All right, yeah, wow, we were, we were living say. together and I said, you should watch Stargate because I hadn't watched it in forever. And I okay. said, my dad introduced me to it, and you know I love it, and I'm ready for a rewatch. And I wasn't friends with them yet, but I'm really grateful that he did this because now we're all getting along. Welcome, absolutely, Thank you. Yeah. absolutely. So she took what you loved and was like, 
All right, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. became so a super fan yeah. and like and really went with it. Yeah, so. <laughs> I was like watching little episodes on the side or rewatching stuff, and then I got into fan fiction writing, which she didn't know about at first. Yeah, she very <laughs> secret so, yeah, and yeah, was um, very interesting. I, I did, yeah, I did definitely take my obsession to a to a new extreme, but um, we okay. do enjoy it together now. And I get to enjoy it with Adam too, so you know. Yeah, we've been rewatching Universe. while we've been here. Yeah, we've yeah, been watching rewatching Universe, which has been good. We, Absolutely. Coincidentally, true. you said David Blue one. Yeah, and so. and we also um, have played games on the side. It's tough to do on your PC and Xbox, it's, but it's, you know, it's a weird relationship. It's very tough to do with an eight-hour difference as well. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, I mean, you know, those 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 challenges of life that we have to get around. I mean, that's the. Uh, you do uh, it for the people that matter, so. And we, said, and we all matter to each other. Yeah. Aww. 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 Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> well, I appreciate you popping in. Yeah, thank you. To hang out with us. Um, and uh, uh, thank a, you as, for as a very quick fill in. <laughs> well, th well th <laughs> no, I thank you. And can, thank you for continuing to lend her to us in times when she really should yeah, be in bed. Yeah, we just kidnap your wife every so. week. When it's 2 a.m. in the morning, I don't care. She can move <laughs> Absolutely. Appreciate you. Okay. Does anyone have eyes on Jenna? Where did Jenna go? Oh, she's all the way back there now. Okay. So I guess we'll talk to her in a bit. I'll, I'll go grab her for you. Uh, would yeah, you like to come on know. after them? Yes. Absolutely. Um, so would one of you like to rotate out for five minutes? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave. I just don't mind who, okay. you know, who does what. We'll have Nicole squared. Oh, no. This is going to confuse things. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm great. Things nice? I'll try to leave over sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I didn't realize how much give these things had. That was quite, I nearly fell I over. I know. So. Um, Ooh, exciting. If you were uh, watching earlier this week, you saw an episode of uh, Fan Made Props with uh, Remington Phillips. And I'm waiting for him to, uh, a, a fan has requested a, a uh, a picture with uh, the device that we're about to have on. Remington, Nicole. And we're gonna go ahead and bring them in for a couple minutes here. You all set? So, come on, we're, we're uh, live and streaming. Oh. Okay. Nope, not yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> you were way back there, so I was like, well, we'll skip. I'm so sorry. Okay, we'll see you in a few minutes. An eternity of anticipation. <laughs> so many people wanna come and talk to us. How nice is that? How are we doing? I think that's very nice. Oh, why do I? <laughs> Got one right here. What am mic. I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm tired. All right, Nicole Remington and Not Nicole. Me. And Wait, I can reverse that. Watch this, NR. Nicole okay. Remington and Nicole. Not How are we doing, guys? I'm confused. Do doing well, hon. Perfect. Uh, Remington, what was it uh, like sharing this with uh, fans this weekend? Um, well, it, it was a blast because I feel like I more finally so show it than, to the camera. More so than me sharing it with the fans was the fact that the fans just were magnetically pulled towards it. Uh, I don't know a if moth it's, to a flame. Yeah, I don't know if it's the uh, the amber glow or if there's something going on on a submolecular level. But the fans just uh, they were attracted to it, and everyone that I think they're attracted it, to your cheekbones. <laughs> yeah, everybody loved it. So, I love this thing, you man. Know, the reality is, is that this has been a project that's been going on for so long, and it's been under wraps, and you know, top secret. You knew about it. Hewlett knew about it. Nicole knew about it. Yeah. Uh, Julian, my buddy, knew about it, and that's about it. So, we've been working intensely on this, and and being able to show it off here is fantastic. This is terrific, and this is the prototype. And I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with uh, with next. You and I were about to have a bidding war over something. Uh-oh. Um, Not this, and, is it? Uh, I want to bid on it. Uh, I believe the gentleman's name is Brian Harris who created these. Yes. I'm not entirely mistaken. Yes. You uh, are correct. You're not going to see, I'm not going to spend a great deal of time in close-up because we already got that footage this afternoon. But I wanted to introduce to you uh, a gentleman's, uh, by the name of Brian Harris, his work. Um, I've been rendered speechless. Have I seen this? 
I don't know if I've seen this. This, this is new. You haven't. Ooh. What is this, Nicole? On the top. Well, we have. No, this is, you've seen it. I, I'm, I'm, oh God. I mean, what, what is this? Uh, it looks like the cover stone with the address on it. We have a winner. Wow. Wow. Oh my. Is that the eye as well? Oh wow. Oh, oh my God! It, it, it keeps going. It's a die cast metal Milky Way Stargate. Yeah. I will show going. this to people here. Oh yeah. Feel like a Xena. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, and ah, you need that's her? always how it starts. Running and screaming comes later. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is absolute. Oh no! Oh my! It keeps going. Stop it. This is... Wow. That, that is beautiful. What an extraordinary piece of craftsmanship. That is absolutely stunning. And is the fact it that it not? has the cover stone as well. It it's has like a freaking cover it's stone. It's like discovering the gate for the first and time. And there's he has uh, the Eye of Roz in here. He has an excuse for the pattern of this, like a, 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 a an in-universe excuse. He came up um, with a great story for it, yeah. He did. And then... You know, you got the imprint underneath there, the negative there. And so, just goes back in. And then on the back of that, you've got the system lords. Exciting. So wow. I guess I am gonna share the last piece up close here. It is so cool. And I, I, I didn't, I, I'm supposed to know this stuff, you know? Like, I'm, I'm one of the guys that, and, or girls that, you know, are supposed to know these things. And, I didn't know that this guy's stuff existed, and apparently he's been around for a little while. But look at the detail of that. Oh, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna. It's just absolutely wow. exceptional. And you know, go ahead and show it. So. A treat for the eyes and the fingers. It is. Tactile. So yeah, everything there is very go. yellow. I apologize because we've got a house lamp in with us. But um, the the details exquisite. But thanks to you, we did a special with him, um, talking about. Um, and he, he, he sold this for Make-A-Wish. To Make-A-Wish. He, he, just, he just gave it away so that Make-A-Wish could raise money. A measly money. $450. Are you kidding? Right? Uh, uh, excuse me? Excuse you, you are. If I had more money, I would I, be throwing it. I, I got a steal, and I'm just lucky that David wasn't in the room. He wasn't in the room because we would have had a bidding war. It would have been and bad. And it would have been bad because it's for a good cause. Yes. And <laughs> Remington and I know that we can go for a little while. So, over for something like this, yeah. yeah. So, David and I are friends, but when it comes to the props, yeah, uh, it's 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 basically the coyote and the um, sheepdog checking in at the beginning of the day in the cartoons. <laughs> yeah. The friendship ends and the war begins. Mm -hmm. So, all right, what was it like for this? Was this your first GateCon? First GateCon. Your second? Correct. To have. What was what was this GateCon like? What were um, uh, highlights for you? For me, I, I I think it's just the sheer camaraderie and the the one-on-one -on -one experience you get with not just the celebrities, but the the crew is is everybody is so involved with one another, and it it's just a family here, mm -hmm. and it made every moment that we had that much better. So. You know, and you get to spend all the time with all these different people that have the same passions you do, and so that for me is the biggest thing. Yeah, for you know the fact that it's been four years since we've been here. I know. It's, uh, it's pretty incredible to be back, see all the same faces, new faces, um, some missing faces, as as of course we discussed. Yeah. Uh, during you know the various who've, panels. Who've passed. Yeah. Absolutely. But that was that was moving when Alan did that. Yeah, but uh, for me, you know, I've been spending a lot of time just uh, you know doing the photo ops, and it's been fantastic to uh, create uh, lasting memories uh, between facilitate really those lasting memories between the, the the fans and and the and the guests. So that's been fantastic. Uh, being able to show off some cool stuff. Absolutely. It's been fantastic. Being able to show this to you I has been fantastic. Was, <laughs> I like Quark says, I am truly impressed. I've been keep, keeping <laughs> I don't know where that came you, from. Keeping this from you, although, oh, although, gosh, you've been, you tried to although, slip it. although you've been aware 
uh, since you know we've we've known that, that we've. Yeah, but I didn't to know the quality this. that would come. I knew that it, I knew that it would be good, but I right. So I didn't. I I mean it's 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 special and it's spectacular, and I can't wait to uh, to own one uh, for season three. I was gonna say, how do I get one? <laughs> um, we will we will, sh we will have to arrange one to be made for you, but I mean... I will pay all the know, money required. We'll have to send it to Europe, but it may be, uh, may be a, a while, what with the waves and all. So. Uh, there, there, will be, there will be floating involved. Uh, <laughs> however, uh, there are plans when we go into production to actually have uh, North America and European production happening simultaneously. So. Well, you're doing a proper process there, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to have a real, uh, real assembly line going. This is great, guys. Thank you so much for stopping in. Um, you guys are my family. I love you. Love you. Um, and uh, we will uh, we will have uh, more of you on later on in season three. Faux show. Sure. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Can't wait. All right. Who Thanks, is guys. next for the frying pan? <laughs> Absolutely. Jenny? Well, Jenny's going to be in a. <laughs> oh gosh, the craziness is beginning. <laughs> Thanks, brother. All righty, Linda and, thank you. All righty, so Linda and Kelly. Yeah, if you want to switch out with, um, if you want to switch out, you can. So give yourself a little bit of a break. <laughs> Miss Kelly Varner. Yes. Who I first. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you've been accused of something. Who I first yeah. saw as, and first like started like connecting you, you as, as, and getting to know you as a person as, um, uh, Janet Frazier with a with a wand. I don't know what's going on behind us here, <laughs> but you came as like a, a, a Harry Potter slash SG One cosplay, I believe at GateCon a few years ago, and it was spectacular. <laughs> Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Um, I came with two cosplays. I came with uh, Dr. Janet Frazier. I was really looking forward to meet her. And unfortunately, she was sick in 2018, oh, no. so she wasn't able to be here. But we wanted her to be home and get better, so Aww. we're just happy she was home and recovering, so we'd get to see her again. Um, so I brought that cosplay, but I also did a mashup. I love doing mashups. Mm -hmm. um, so I took my favorite Harry Potter ma or Harry Potter character, which was Dolores Umbridge. <laughs> That's right. It was big. And <laughs> I forgot. And I and I married her or mashed her to a like an SGC general. Oh, so I'm trans. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm mixing so, stuff up. So I picked up some pink camouflage. So it was a like military camouflage, <laughs> but it was pink. What? What's Just going keep on? going. Okay. Just ignore the little the, photo bombing. The yeah, man <laughs> the behind the curtain. The clowns. <laughs> uh, so I picked up that. Uh, I had a holster that I could put the wand in instead of a firearm, and all of my patches were cats. Like I embroidered cat patches that were also astronauts. <laughs> so <laughs> that sounds incredible. <laughs> one was on my hat. One was on my jacket. And then I had a uh, pink umbrage name tape made. And put that on, grabbed a pair of combat boots, and went to work. Wow. Pretty impressive. Have you worn that costume elsewhere? Once. Once. I think to uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Beautiful. Linda. <laughs> yes. You had uh, an experience with a costume this weekend. And tell us about it and how it culminated. Uh, well, mine involved cats as Linda, well. uh, producer Linda Fury of Dial the Gate. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, I Involved cats. It involved cats, and the, the back story is that um, Richard and, and I occasionally text back and forth, and he said something at one point about he hoped a lot of people entered all of the, the contests for the convention, and he was like, maybe you could get around to entering them? And I was like, I'm going to enter everything. So... Um, I started thinking about, well, what, what would I want to cosplay right. be? And I hadn't done one really in years. I, I have a bought SG-1 uniform. Um, and I decided, well, I want something spectacular. That has to be a go old. So I decided that while the goddess best at the time she showed up was okay, it wasn't what I imagined the costume to be. 
So I, I started thinking about, well, what was that? And I drew sketches. Um, I began working with EVA foam and making like an Apophis-like helmet, only cat and the collar and the, um, just trying to rock, well, what would she look like as a warrior goddess? Uh, so that's, that's the direction I went with it. And then it had a sort of drapey fabric dress mm -hmm. thing. Um, the, the highlight of it for me was not, not the winning the competition, but all the time I got to spend this weekend talking with Val Halverson about uh, costuming costume and Halverson. about technique and choosing fabrics. And I, I, several times we ran into each other in the hall after you introduced us and we were just gabbing and gabbing about uh, about costuming and didn't she um she complimented you on your fabric use and she said that she she'd did. used that fabric before herself yeah yeah, yeah the, the faux chain mm. mail and um that that just made me feel like a rock star that i was i was making good choices <laughs> the material used by an actual professional costume designer that's pretty cool yeah that's pretty yeah cool. yeah and the, and the trophy they they gave me was made by the the same person who made the 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 gate Box okay. That we were just showing. Wow. Uh, it's really rather fabulous. It's it's yeah. back at the house. Okay. Um, and I I have put pictures up on on Facebook of it. So if anyone wants How a, brilliant. a glimpse of that. Um, that same same fabric though. I mean that's yeah. that's pretty cool. It's always nice to have one's choices verified. Yeah. Especially <laughs> with like an expert in that field as Correct. well. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but that was that was one of the real highlights of my con was getting to talk to her about about costuming. Uh, which, I mean, I kind of wanted to go into in college, but I really had no root into that, so. <laughs> Kelly, highlight for you. Well, considering who I didn't meet in 2018 and did meet in 2022. Terrell. Terrell. So getting to get a photo off with Terrell, and I actually bid on the auction for a meet and greet with her, and I was able to get into that. Aww. So it was an amazing 45 minute sit down. There were about a dozen, 15 of us or so. And just to, she really opened up about her USO experiences and really connected it back, and it was, everything was very heartfelt. And it was just an absolutely wonderful experience, and she's, is, she's as amazing of a human being as I pictured her to be. So, you know, that's that's very red cool when you've got an idea in your mind and your heroes live up to your exactly. expectations and yeah. exceed them. It's, yes. It's, yeah. yeah. So I'd have to say that's my my number one is getting to meet her and and talk with her and listen to her. All right. Well, I appreciate both of you coming on. You are a part of my Dial the Gate family. You're part of my GateCon family. That should really have come first. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm glad to continue to, to build memories uh, with you guys here. And uh, hopefully we'll have another GateCon and get to do this all over again. Absolutely. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. Yes, Thank definitely. you, too. Thank appreciate you. Thank you, David. You. All right. Uh, I saw, I think, a, a, a wild Deloise uh, gallop past. Mm. A moment was a ago. Free range Deloise was it a free range Deloise? Yeah. You think you can snare him? I I will try. Let's go hunting. That yeah. sounds exciting and hunting. something I'd like to do. Yeah. And our girl, if she could uh, rejoin rejoin the tribe. Nicole, your break is over. Nicole on line one. Nicole, line one. There we go. Hold, am I allowed to wear this? Absolutely, make sure they're both on. So, this is very good. Both on. We're, we're, we're seeing if we can snare that um, free-ranging Deloise and get him over here and start. Uh, Which free-ranging one? The, the David. David or the Pete? Ooh. Yeah. I think, I think the only free-ranging Deloise who is, who is not um, run amok. This seat <laughs> is for you, sir. Oh my god, we get to sit next to I know, I'm so excited. Are we right gonna now. do like the boy side of the bus and the girl oh, side of the bus? Okay, are we gonna keep doing the thing or are we gonna do this? Oh, I can move over. Okay. Yeah, get out of the way. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna move over too. So, oh. um, so you go to the other end and you go. Oh my gosh. What's happening? We're, 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 we're ensnaring like a free ranging Deloise. We're just calling you a free Okay, there we go. Deloise. That works too. Oh, this is cute. Mm -hmm. All right, cute. yeah. I like this. Middle muffins. Oh, do we need a spare mic? Uh, where's it? Thank you. 
I'll have to grab it. Thank you. It's all good. I beat you to it. <laughs> very professional. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Hi. Hello. Hello. You're on. Hello. You're on. <laughs> Are you ever off? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm tired right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna say, but it's you know, like almost like a uh, what is it? Uh, uh, nitrogen narcosis. <laughs> yeah. What's that? It's a little bit. Am like I dumb? That. What's that? Uh, uh, so in Battlestar Galactica, mm -hmm. when uh, the Cylons take over the ship, they... and Starbuck and Apollo are trapped in the room, and yeah. Starbuck tells Apollo he's looking like a blueberry. The, the that's nitrogen narcosis. That was a great episode because I got to touch. That's exactly right. So. I just remember everything. I know. From every show. Unfortunately, we have no I lives. I don't, though, so I'm usually left out. <laughs> my mother and I were talking of, about Tony. Oh, yeah. Tony's my little And my mini mother, of, of course, adores you guys and adores um, Dom and Tony. That's oh, cool. so oh, Tony. Can we show that? Yeah. Is that okay to show? Beautiful. I'll get a show. Or just another picture? Um, and she was like, you know, with that family, it's its not surprising at all that they never had a dog when they were growing up because they were running to school and they, their parents were acting. We had, we had, we had a, a dog. Oh, you did have a dog. I thought you said you never had a dog before. Look, that's me FaceTiming with Tony. Can we show that, that thing one? is so we, cute. Show, we had a dog. That reminds me of mine that when I was a kid. Named Midnight. Uh, oh, you did. Oh, a cockapoo. But, so uh, this is your I, first dog. Is that what it is? It's okay. Yes, my first dog. I've had uh, daughters, but yeah, I just look there. <laughs> Yo, it's a Tony. What a cutie! What a good little that dachshund. Is a beautiful puppy. Little oh. blockheads, man. Uh, um, so yes, I didn't have a dog. I had two cats. I didn't have a dog. <laughs> And I had two cats. No, okay, so that's really to see it later. I know. I know it's I know. a trip. You get used to it. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Rebooting my brain. <laughs> I had a dog midnight. It was a cockapoo when I was growing up. But then I had two kids, and then I didn't want to. I wanted the pe things I was taking care of to go to the bathroom and have me stop helping them go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to have to continue. I didn't want to have a dog, so I had two cats. And then now that the cats are gone and the kids are gone, I got a dog. Are you, are you a dog man or a cat Did man? Did I tell you, you I was know? tired? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dog person myself. I, you I'm know. a cat person. So. Okay. Yeah, which one do you flow with more? Well, the, the one, the one that he has. The cat no, no. looks at As you. In, the cat goes like this. The cats don't what? need That's you. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. You Some, know? There are like 10% of cats are like dogs. Yeah. Those are the cats that are, but I sneeze at all of them regardless. So. Oh, you sneeze. You're allergic. I'm very allergic to cats. Ah. I had developed an allergy after my cat died when I was 12. Oh. I didn't, so you can develop those allergies. I didn't know that. Do you think it was an allergy oh, yeah. from a loss? develop allergies as an adult. Somehow. I don't know because I hated sad. the cat. Oh. So. Um, but I do love my, my dog like a lot. Uh, well, he's adorable. Yeah. So, how was it? Ha cackle, cackle, cackle. How was it uh, having having Peter with us today? Good. You know, it was funny. Peter said, "I'm not going to imitate because Peter said, uh, you didn't see a lot. You know, like, you were I talking had, all weekend. He was only here today. I said I had done three panels, but I didn't not talk because I didn't want to talk. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Correct. I asked a good question, I you thought. Did. I, I think I you loved did. I loved it. Too. Yeah, so I wanted to hear, because he hadn't, you know, kind of opened the arena to talking about uh, the Stargate. I loved also what he said was, Brad and whatever. <laughs> they were like, Stargate is the perfect thing because you can go anywhere in the world. Right. Sorry, in the universe. <laughs> Anywhere that you can imagine, yeah. you know, Anywhere in which history, is, yeah, yeah. But exactly. did you expect him to open the door into your your bathroom childhood? No, <laughs> brilliant story. Or the do arena, I should that? say. No, I, I that was so cute. I, that was really cute. There's another, and I'm not going to tell you. Oh but no. There's another like me little kid bathroom story that I thought he was going to tell, mm. and I'm glad Were he you didn't. Bracing yourself for that okay. one. Yeah, uh, I was. What happened? Oh, bunny ears. <laughs> uh, Were you saying that you hadn't seen your brother in a little while because of COVID? I had not seen my oh, brother wow. since 2019. 
Oh, oh damn, like us. Yeah. Wow, you haven't seen him in three years? Correct. Wow. I mean, I see him over the FaceTime. No, but in mm. person. Yeah, I that didn't was the first know time I'd that, seen him David. In person. Yeah, yeah, that was, they did say that that was on a, stage. a big part of why we, he, me coming and him mm. coming too is so we could see each other. That's so Which sweet. Great. I love I mean, that. Look, I could have gotten on a plane thrilled. and saw him, but then I'd have to spend time with him. <laughs> 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 it was really fun. The and fact he's, that he's off tomorrow to go shoot a, a, a movie. For, okay. For Man's busy. And the fact that he brought Anne Marie, I, oh. I didn't expect her that was to be great, here. Right? Anne Marie has, she'll never know this, but she has a piece of my heart. Because I love the Annie Vandenberg. You know, threat. not that the white supremacist that she played in in season four, but the Amy <laughs> Vandenberg that she played in season ten was just like it was just perfect, you know. Oh, good. Mm. And you know, just hearing stories about her over the years and how how good a human being she is. Yeah. You know, that was great that we got to see her. And I got just to see Peter's father-in-law, Anne Marie's dad, uh, uh, Richard. I hadn't seen him in a long time, and we all got to hang out and spend time together. It was nice. Lovely family reunion. Family time. Yeah. Yeah. That's really sweet. Look, at, we both have Chucks. Oh, uh, you know, they're the, they're the best. The world. best. My my wife and I say, I love you very. And so she put a little very on there. Oh. Very. Personalized, it says very on the side personalized of Personalized Chucks. I had personalized ones, but they uh, they died. Ones I, that I, say I, very? No, my oh. own personal ones. But maybe I can call these personalized? Oh, oh, my gosh. She painted they that kind herself. Of personalized? You really painted that? I did. So you, if you're going to do this, guys, you have oh, to hold wow. it up to the camera. That is very good. Yeah, camera. Yes. Look at okay. that jacket. This is the Starry Night Stargate jacket. So, as we know, <laughs> yeah, Evie has David done Delois a Starry Mel. Night Stargate wall. I have. In her have studio back home in wow. Perth. Mm. And now this is her Stargate jacket. This is her whole get up here. So you guys flew here. Yes. How long, how was the flight? It was 22 hours. Holy I was macaroni. only nine, I was the UK, I'm easy. Ah. Yeah, it wasn't great. We um, we did get like the emergency aisle, so we had like all the foot room. Oh, thank God. But what happens during the flight, seeing as it's so long, is you have a lot of other people using that to do like weird squats during the flight so they can keep limber. <laughs> I know. It was a little off-putting. So you're trying to sleep and there's someone doing like, you know, some lunges yeah. in the in the aisle yeah, right in front weird. of the toilet. But you're mm. here. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah, I heard you had a bit of trouble getting here. I, I oh, was, yeah, the fire. In, oh, that's I lived just right, outside of Los Angeles. There was a fire and um, a drive that normally takes an hour and 45 minutes took four hours. Oof. And I had given myself three hours to get to the airport. Yeah. And trying to, you know, we were, we were going alternative routes and uh, a truck, big semi truck broke down. And then- I'm just checking in on us 20 minutes, 20 seconds ago. I'm sorry, this is a, yeah. And then, and then missed it. And there wasn't like another flight because I was on American. The next flight on American that would only take two and a half hours or whatever it is was the next day at 10. Yeah. So if, if I had, taken another plane, it would have, Yulia looked it up, it would have been uh, 16 hours oh, wow. to Oof. get here. Well, I appreciate Too much. that you came straight from the airport and went straight onto the panel. You yeah. still had your luggage. Oh, yeah. no, it was luggage. It was, it was funny, right? Yeah, yeah, it was good. I told Peter that, that I, I rolled my luggage out on stage. There's a level of charm <laughs> that you have that's just yeah. so wonderful. But you know what's funny? You do funny like that, right? And then maybe on stage, the people that are on the panel don't like that you're crashing the panel you know no one said anything bad but you have to be careful you know like yeah. about that well i That's think true. we all loved and appreciated it yeah it was just, you it was have fantastic. fun you gotta have fun you gotta do your thing and i'm looking to D looking forward to dvring it because i was <laughs> busy wrangling talent <laughs> yeah you were, yeah you weren't there we got to witness it firsthand <laughs> my gosh. i was like oh my god it's david I know, I was <laughs> this is my so just off the plane look yeah so i have a question someone asked peter a question about particular shot or something of an episode where yeah. they had a pool shot or what was yes. it? was there like a camera inside of a pool table or something? So what or? it was uh, is this is four, this right? is an episode called Upgrades. Divide and Conquer, which which Peter directed, immediately followed it. And him and Martin Wood traded off and right. so I was kind of surprised that a fan asked a question that Peter actually didn't direct an episode of, mm. um, but Upgrades came immediately before and it was a Martin Wood episode. Mm. It's just a shot over, if this is the pool table, it's just a shot overhead of, of, from, of from right here of Amanda doing a trick shot. 
with there's the guys in, you in the see bar. Amanda shooting it and uh, Carter hitting it, she the, gets it going like in, gets it in the pockets, apparently and then I think takes the money if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And, and, and apparently Amanda had actually done it her first time successfully. Right. Yeah. So she was super happy about it. The the idea is that their their senses and skills are heightened because of alien technology. But that was ah. just Amanda. But it was just Amanda. She just did this really Let me slick just tell shot. you, that was just Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know Amanda. You yeah, know? No, of course. Her heightened, her senses are heightened. <laughs> she heightens the, the senses. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm so silly. That's okay. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> no, we've been back at the whole time. Uh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Ow! <laughs> no. You see this? No, you no. see this here? I have to, when I work, the only, they're like, do you need this? And I was like, just put some fake put hair. Put some fake hair in there. So I don't see the bald spot. <laughs> if I don't see the bald spot, then it's I'm good. It's not there. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not going to arm wrestle you again, can even you, if you. Can you vis effects that out? Later? Not in real time. No, we're not there yet. <laughs> there's a live stream, there, I'm man. sure there's an app for that. Right. So. Of course. Wow. So I'm going to ask you a question, David. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What's your favorite part so far? I mean, other than being with me and my brother. So that, I've already con. said that on on screen. Oh yeah. The second one was with David Blue. Um, if there was if there was a, a third, it was just the I I think uh, finding a uh, I just showed it the the wooden little mm. pieces. Oh, it's a beautiful there's, stock. There are there's an amazing fan artist here called uh, his name I believe his name is is Brian Harris. Brian, I apologize if that's your name. If I'm saying it wrong, I believe his name is Brian Harris, and he made these custom metal die-cast metal gates inside of wooden boxes that looked like cover stones. And he has three, that was the SG-1 one, like a deluxe version, if you will. And then he made an Atlantis one that was like this, this silver. And then a universe Stargate that was, I think, I, I don't know if it was bronze or something, but it was all three of them were brushed metal. And I mean, looked like they were worth a couple hundred dollars each. That's Beautiful. pretty cool. Yeah. And I mean, right down microscopically, practically, you could see the precise detail that he put into it. Front and back. They're not mirrors of one another. They are what the gates actually look like. Wow. But I didn't know this guy existed. The detail. And he's had this stuff out, he's had this stuff around in, in small fan circles for apparently years. Wow. wow. And A, why don't I know that it exists? Because that's my job to know it. Mm. But B, you know. Uh, uh, why don't the, I have it? That, that that and that true too, but I mean, see, have why have we never come across, you know, right. one another? So it was it was a real trip. It was well, really cool. I'm glad I was above that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Did, you, did you get one? Did, are you uh, we're able gonna, to? We're gonna talk about adding one to the season three set for sure. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Very Good cool. Idea. Yeah. Listen, I love all of you very much. I'm not going anywhere, but I do have to call my wife <laughs> and check in. On no, the dog. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. I want to call my wife and check in and see how she's doing. Absolutely. And check on Tony. Yes. Well, can you do me a favor and, and get gonna... Jenny for us? And then you're going to what? And then I'm going to come back. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Stand right. by. Okay. If you could grab Jenny, we'd appreciate it. <sighs> what is with all the Davids being so nice? You being one of them, obviously. Uh, get, get, get around me when my blood sugar lose level and that'll go away. Um, <laughs> I, I, in and also having so many Davids yeah. as well. That's yeah. that's pretty funny. You obviously funny. name tags for all of you. Literally. <laughs> the RB. It's like literally like six Davids. D. <laughs> RBD. Oh, gosh. Or you could get numbered. You could be like David oh, yeah. number one. I suppose. Yeah, but then who's superior to the other David? Who comes yeah. first? We'd all be fighting over the numbers. Yeah. It's, you know. I'd pick three personally. It's I like embarrassing. So if we yeah. can get our next a pretty common name, my guest... Is but Jenny she's busy ever pulling her hair. To come there over. she comes to save my cookies on Dial the Gate right here. Episode 150, Stargate, the GateCon Convention, uh, 2022 in Richmond, uh, near Vancouver, David British Columbia, over. Canada. Aw, isn't that sweet? You can't see it right now, but one is helping the other, just in case she, Jesus you know, I'm going thing. to go away for a moment and make that happen. So. Jennifer! Such a gentleman. How are we doing? Is it clean? Thanks, brother. Can you talk amongst yourselves? 
apparently we're talking amongst Maybe ourselves for a moment. First. <laughs> oh, is that the one with all the dents in it? I know. No, oh, man. Oh, the wipes are there. David, can you hand us a wipe? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're powering through. You guys are on air. Okay. You, you need to... They can't hear you. Okay. Sorry for the static. Okay, there we go. Um, she figured that it was time and she could be done with it. And she dramatically takes off her mask and says, in this great Scottish accent, I'm done with it. And nice. tosses it off. Oh, wow. Nice, I mean, nice. That's quite I'm going to have to turn it off. Hi I'm guys. keeping it on. And Hello. I'm it's so good to see you in person again. It's been ages. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> we got to do more. All right. I'm, I'm, I know everybody's commented on it, but I am. Oh, we this. showed that to the camera a minute ago. I'm loving this we jacket. We did. Oh, thank yeah. you so shoes. much. Did you show the shoes too? Uh, it's probably a little harder it's to show It's harder to get that in the shot, yeah. Without me actually the taking shoes, them up. Shoes, shoes, shoes. I will we'll be making you a pair at some stage. Okay, let's do it. And then we can um, we can be matching. Oh, my god. We can be twinning. Oh, please. Please, I want a twin. I'm not taking anything away from your other twin at all. Well, she's so. my she's my triple S, my Stargate soul sister. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm also significantly that. younger, so I totally let's remember that. The triple S. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Stargate an OG shit. soul oh. sister. <laughs> Beep. Am I allowed to swear on this? Uh, well, to be said, it's late technically now. after hours, but I'm trying to still be a good girl, so. Oh wait, if you're being a good girl. I know, right? Can oh you believe God, it? And I can't swear. You know what's amazing? I haven't sworn on our shows yet so wait, far. Wait, at all? A at all. I know, it's she, a miracle, she right? She is able I'm to so, tame herself I'm when I'm so able to turn proud it off. of you. I know. You're better than I. I say the occasional word that, that doesn't translate well because uh, the English, the English language, whether you're speaking English English or American English, right. there are certain words that don't, that aren't the, that don't have the oh, same sure. meaning. Mm, sure, I think sure. that's about the only slip up I've had, but let's see. Well, we've been, um, I've been trying to be better. <laughs> <laughs> trying. <laughs> it hasn't worked well at all, as most people know. I finally had a bet in the house once being like, yeah, let's see how, how long we can go without swearing and we'll pay each other like, However much, whoever wins. Oh Within my gosh. 10 minutes, they were all already going off no, on one again. It's I was the like, worst, right. especially when you're in the house with, uh, with other friends or oh, family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it goes downhill really fast. Yeah. Yes, it does. But right. Stargate, you know? Okay, so. They swore in Stargate a few times. I know you probably have all talked about this a million times already. Wait, what are we doing? In the interviews, but I just, can I ask them about what their favorite stuff was? That is this absolutely weekend? Okay. hilarious. So, what was your favorite part this weekend? Oh, we've well, already talked about that. Yeah, we yeah, have. That's what I we have um, but that's why we have you on. We're, yeah. we're <laughs> curious about you. That's why we rotate you you out. Uh, David Blue and Jeff over there have been the absolute highlight of my weekend. Oh, I love yeah. it. Wait, Jeff, actually, left. it's Darren Blue. Where did, but, where did yeah. Jeff Darren go? Blue. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're just making fun. Jeff Golka. Yeah, Jeff yes. Golka, yeah. Well, yeah. my answer was a little bit more cheesy. It was being reunited with uh, all the people that I met several years oh ago. Oh, yourself gosh. Yeah, I didn't do that part. No, exactly. I... And the lovely David, obviously. <laughs> David number one. You guys don't matter to me. Us. You're not David Blue or Jeff Golka. I don't care about you guys. <laughs> I, well, I you love that. And you guys got all like a house on fire. It's fantastic. You don't have to love me. I can love you. I got enough for both of us. So what's I'll going on with the, the so something about gifts? Oh, so oh, before I get to that. No, I, I look at this. This made me laugh. Why didn't you want to put chicken as a joke? That's the thing. Like the Wilson okay. Grummet. So have you seen... This chicken. This woman. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit reference. Have you seen this woman? Oh. Last seen in Britannia A. Um, the spoiler <laughs> alert for those who aren't here. That is where we are. Maybe confused and incoherent. Or Scottish. <laughs> yeah, cheeky buggers. Hard to tell the difference. Delusional that was and uh, I, no, I know. Delusional and paranoid. Thinks she's in charge. <laughs> has been seen rooting through the bin. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Did something happen? Yes, she's right here. <laughs> Requires medication. Do not approach. I feel like it's whackable. Prone like to spitting and biting. Like. Possible Tourette's. <gasps> Whoa! She no, has. Tourette's. These are my voice. She has wandered away from her care home. Yo. Is that like a psychiatric facility? It's an all people's home. Yeah. Oh, a nursing yeah. home. Yeah. If spontact. Sp if, spon <laughs> spon <laughs> if spotted contact. 
authorities. Quick, contact the authorities. She's right there. Someone's got to chase her She's disappeared her again. Oh, my God. Well, she's taken We've off the her. hat, Somebody so you can't identify her. Someone her report yeah, this woman. Honor. So, yes. So we're good. I can't we'll believe the, the way you tried, you you tried to get her. Scottish. That was, that was amusing. Uh, yeah, no, it's, I don't ask me to do that one again. No. Um, so... Gifts for... So I have giveaways. I wish I had giveaways for everybody on I want camera a giveaway. that's watching at home, but I don't. I'm so sorry. But it's for the for volunteers here, and so I'm going to get up and do that as soon as Richard gives me the sign. What kind of gifts do so we I've have? So I've got uh, Stargate Origins t-shirts. Okay. That's um, so what we've got. I've already got that, so I'm not uh, sad. I've got <laughs> Stargate Command Patches. Ooh. I don't know where I would have found those. Wait, is that, is, was that similar garage. to the ones we got initially? Huh? Oh. Nice, nice. And I already have that got... too, not jealous. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I've got um, a signed uh, companion poster that's an original poster just for GateCon. So that's it, cool. And it's signed by everybody that was here. The only one I missed was Peter. He was going out. Oh. But everybody else signed. Where's so, Tommy? Pretty good. Uh, Tommy Terry. At the bar. <laughs> Tommy Terry is at the bar. Lousy Brit. Um, hey. He's oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, man? I'll take you That's outside, what you my say dude. on an unstable chair. Cash me outside, yo. Right yeah, cash, me outside. cash me outside. Cash me outside is you guys. Well, I would like Tommy Taylor to come on at some point here. Yeah, yeah. I like to say Tommy Taylor because it's... I was going to say yeah. because that was... You decided that's his name. Well, I because I kept on saying it wrong. I kept on saying it Tommy something or other. It uh, Tom, Tommy Taylor or... Ta it's Tommy Terry. Terry. But you said Tommy Taylor right off the bat. But so, it's Tommy Terry? Yeah. I'm wow, sorry, Tommy. Tommy. Wow. Green. I've been getting it wrong all weekend. I just so call He's him with T -T -T. the companion. That's, T -T -T. that's great. It's a lot easier. All right. Did, have we asked you what your favorite uh, moment was from this weekend? Have no. we done that? No, she went no, straight for I'm, us I'm, and then we went on. Right, that's, that's so generous go, of her. I love, I love that she acts really sympathetic when I say I'm really hurt. And she's just like, whatever. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. I love you. I, I am sympathetic and, and, and empathetic. But you know what? I'm, I'm also sarcastic. So, did, no. you ask, yeah. did you say really hurt? Yeah, I said I was really hurt that I wasn't asked. So, so no one has a <laughs> clue what we're talking about with the hurt. Do you want to reveal it? No, <laughs> I don't know. Someone said they had the video. I, I, I haven't. I, I haven't made seen sure it. that they recorded it. I haven't seen it. So okay. I've avoided talking the about it. The so. companion panel. If you have GateCon tickets, you will see this at the end of the panel immediately before, because the stream was running and then it was terminated. And then I'm sure people were like, oh my gosh, what she happened? She did not die. She did not die. She's obviously Aww. here. But it did put her out for the count for a few... Seconds? Well, a, day, a half a day, like like last night and today. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, you no, were no, that I, bad? No, no, I made it all day yesterday. Well, I half day say. today. And all last night, but only a half day today. So you're, you're coming up on stage. You're introducing the Companion AI project. Right, and I was excited because the audience, when you're at GateCon, you've got tickets, so you have to sit in certain seats. Mm. So everybody, we had like 75 or 100, but they were so spread out, it was kind of hard to tell. So I was about to ask them to come in. And as I was trotting down the stage, going, okay, I'm just going to run back and forth as we're asking questions. The operative word, run. Run, and but I was just kind of trotting a little bit. <laughs> didn't see, because I was looking out at the audience, didn't see the step, and as I've now said, I just jumped through the gate and missed, and yeah. fell flat, like just onto that was like a the gasp stage, a, so, around the whole room. Well, no, no. Yeah. First, there was a thud. Yes, there was a thud. Then, then a gasp. <laughs> right. So. So. And I mean, we. I. I was seriously afraid. Broken nose. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. I have two yeah. bruises, and that's it. To yeah. be honest, wow. you took it like a champ. You, I, 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 I saw you fall, and I was like, she's got this, you know? <laughs> and then you came back and did the most graceful introduction of what? Yeah. No, of the AI. Oh, did you, you. you did it again. Yeah, and just like, you just bounced straight well, back. I didn't, I didn't hit my head, so that oh, was... Oh, <laughs> you did so well. We were like you five rows back, so, well. so I no, was no, like, let's you. not help Jenny, she has like 20 people at the front who can help her, so... <laughs> I was like, I'll just sit here and watch it happen. <laughs> Jeez. No, no, it's, oh. I don't mean to be a monster. No, I understand. I understand. I'm just glad that you're okay. Okay. Um, oh, I'm, I get to select. Oh. All right. Can I go with number two first? 
All right. So I, and I'll, I'll hand off so you can move yeah. on to some other people. Absolutely. But. That is clever. I like that. Thank you so much, Linda. <laughs> Big brain. She's Look at that. Clever. She is. She's clever that She made well, a great I'm outfit so as well. I'm so thankful that you're, that oh, you're yeah, safe yeah. in that. Look, that's, it didn't... that's not the highlight of my weekend. So. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> that was because it was the highlight of mine for a little bit there. Oh, my God. Because no, 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 I'm just. No, no, no. But thankful that you didn't. Thankful that you weren't hurt was the highlight. Yes. So. Yeah. Because it could have been. The important look, things. we've got a lot of history together of, of conventions sabotaging her. So, you know, because she doesn't sleep enough oh. and she gets sick. So. I was going to say, were you personally sabotaging her? Did you put, did you move the step? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sending out all the, all good mojos. All okay, good. good. Vibes. That good That's energy. exactly vibes. right. So. Always good vibes. Jenny, Jenny, my highlight is this. Thank you Being so much everybody. for continuing to. Um, be such a pro at all of this and coming and bringing light into the entire convention oh with gosh. all of these different uh, uh, panels and events year after year you're always coming up with something new to share with Smiler. the whole group that it's positive fun. energy you, I mean no one does it better oh, no one please. does it better oh, wow. so. honestly you're, you're good vibes I'm, when I first met you at Kalmar you and Kieran were like two of the most positive people I'd ever met and it kind of gave yeah. me an extra invigoration and excitement for Stargate that I hadn't felt in a long time. Oh. Yeah, and I thought it was going to be the actors and Cal Mar that did that, but mm. you, it was, it was you really that kind of really wow. brought it for me. Your energy is inspirational. Oh, yeah. it really, it really is. Well, that's all going to make. Me See, cry. I can be kind. Thank you very much. That's, we love you. Love you guys. I honestly do it for you guys because. You know, what you give out comes back in spades. So. Correct. And I do it because Very of true. you. So, I love you, know. you guys. I love you. And always with David. Always. Yeah. My Which means sometimes forever. with you. Yeah. <laughs> As you come along. Right? Oh, oh, look at the love. Fest. Oh, guys. It's oh, a love so fest. sweet. We, we can, we can do fest. that. We can do that. Oh, let's do that. Oh. We can do it better. Mm. <laughs> and I do it for you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. What about... Um, Okay, very, I, I would love to get a convention organizer. I say, I think I saw Jeff Golka just um, just signing Adam's shirt. Did, did that just happen? <laughs> Why? Jan. Ah. Jan. Right. Can we get? Oh, this is exciting. I'm trying to, Jan. Am I saying her name wrong? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> We're trying to <laughs> wrangle some people. Trying to wrestle up some more guests. It's literally a room full of people to interview and no one to interview. Everyone's signing each other. I'm and I'm so sorry anxious. that this is so freeballing. Is that the right word? Yeah, it's the nature of conventions, you know? Yeah, that'll be fun. Jan. Jane. Jane. That's why it was wrong. Yeah. I've, 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 I was like, Jan. Wait, no, no, I'm saying it wrong. It's like, Jane. How long have you and I known each other and I can't get your name right? Almost 20 years now. I know it's been a while. Yeah. So you're uh, just, yeah, it's so we're on there. Way. So just keep this close to here. How long have you been running? Uh, it's, it's, it's security, I, if well, I remember it correctly. We security. That's when, right. When we started 22 years ago, we didn't know what we know now. Yeah. And we had rules from not only the agents, but from MGM as a beginning, mm. because they had very strident and stringent rules as right. to what we needed to do. Right. And we've actually kept most of those. You've seen our weapons disclosure and yeah. requirements and that sort of thing. Um, 17 events over 22 years, we've gotten a lot friendlier. We've gone from security to guest services. <laughs> um, and, that's partially politically correct, but it's also really what we've turned into. Wow. I was going to say, that's quite positive. That's very positive. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, it's, it's not that anymore, yeah. really. RDA, yes. Yeah. Um, the first year Corin was with us, and Joe was also with us. We both had death threats, and we had the police all around the building. Are you kidding? That's mental. Uh, that is wow. mental. But wow. Poor Joe, I really felt badly for her because... He just wrote a character, is and the yeah. character's exit and arrival, mm. and Corin is just the new guy. Yeah. Right. He was just you know happy to be be on the show. He was thrilled to be here with us, and he was very enthusiastic. But mm. we also hit him in bathrooms quite a bit. 
Oh, really? Oh. Wow. Because we For his own security. People. Yeah. Oh, really? And we were still security then. The nature oh, wow. we were security then. of the job. My so goodness. It's, it's been interesting to see the arc over the years and the personalities over the years that come have come through. So it's been great fun. I feel like you need to write like an autobiography. Your experience has been a gate con convention biography. Yes, but then we'd have to change the name and hide the identities. Well, I, I think it could still like, make a, for a good thriller. It's like GateCon you know? Thriller, oh my goodness. I Absolutely. often wonder what, what Sigmund Freud or a good psychologist would think sitting in the back of the room at one of these events. Not only oh of, my goodness, yeah. of the id and ego, egos that are in a room, yeah. but the personality differences, yeah. the, those that follow. Yeah. Yeah. We've, uh, we had a gentleman who came now four years ago at our last event who... Had just finished cancer treatment, had lost wow. his wife, had gotten out of the military, he had no idea of his direction in Rough. his life, and came up to us at the end and went, you gave us a focus. That's right. beautiful. Wow. And that's inspirational. he went home and married his girlfriend six months after Gate Count, and he said, I didn't have the courage to ask her until I'd been here. Oh, it wow. It built up my own self-identity enough that I could do that. Wow. Is that a compliment? Yeah. Uh, that's magical, my yeah, goodness. It really is for an event like this. Mm, yeah. That's not what we're here for, really. Yeah. But what we have seen over the years is we're pals, we're friends. <laughs> the the support you all give each other is. We well, are truly a family. A community. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it really is the truth. We've had a couple of weddings here. We've been yeah. each other's funeral and, you know, <laughs> family and wow. friends. We've had babies born as a result of yeah. relationships that built here. Yeah. You know, it's really quite quite an enthusiastic group, but also incredibly supportive. And uh, that makes a big difference. Jane, I've been so thankful for you um, of Thanks. all these years, continuing to be supportive of my work and my team's work at GateWorld, just uh, greasing all of the gears to make... Uh, 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 content available mm -hmm. for people who aren't able to be here at the event online. Yep. You've, you have been chiefly responsible for facilitating so much of that. In times that. when you are ex overwhelmed by requests, by, by actors, by getting them on here on time, they're on time, I have never felt in a position where I wasn't able to achieve my goals when you were involved because you. you're like, you know what, you're going to We'll find a way, and that's always how it really was. But you know, I had that happen this weekend as well. I our, really felt that our schedule is crazy. We'll find a way to fit you in, and I've always been so truly impressed at your poise and um, your thoughtfulness in the job that you do, and um, extremely thankful. Thank you. So and this that's is really why I wanted to bring you on. For people to be here. You, Absolutely. You did an amazing job for our first time coming. It was so beautifully done. The organization, you know, it, it, despite any hiccups, it went so yeah. well. And you, you know? all had so much grace under pressure. Thank I know, right? Yeah. Well, it is the whole idea of this is, in a way, I think of us as Marines because they always, or Navy SEALs, who say they have plan A to plan C, and God help us, they got M through Z as well. Yeah. Uh, we have to do the same thing because we can have something it looks perfect on paper but paper isn't human mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and that happens you know absolutely um, i think you were here the year we had rda here the last time one of the i believe the first the first one and you know he was on the phone with his daughter yeah who was a freshman in college and experienced all, all of that anxiety and angst that one goes through as a freshman yeah. away from home and he was like 30 minutes late for a signing and he's apologizing. We're like, no. You got yeah. personal stuff. One of the things yeah. that we know from here is family comes first. Yeah. As sure. it was exactly. at Stargate. Yeah. You know, a lot of those traits copied itself onto this production as well. Yes. Mirroring one another a lot. Yeah, Not just the production, but the show itself. You Correct. saw that reflected yeah. in the story. I think that's yep. a really good testament to what the show did because the thing is so many people watch it and then come together as a family after watching this beautiful family on sh on the show. Yeah. And you're right, it reflects it so it's it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's like yeah, inspiring. It's like, you know, it doesn't matter if it's your family by blood, birth yeah. or your family by choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's still your family. Yeah. Mm. And Absolutely. the benefit here is having had, I think we've had all but one actor who was deceased long before we started right. on the show over the years. And mm. every crew member and Jan Newman used to come here a lot and do yeah. makeup on, sh on stage. And we've wow. had 
stunt people that did stunts for us and taught people in the audience how to do them. And wow. It's been very enthusiastic. I missed all these things. But it's also made our job very simple because right. they came in without ego, without right. big expectations, and understood what we were all about. Just mm. good people. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much for another successful convention. Thank you for absolutely. For yeah, thank, thank you, you so for much. all your hard work. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are going to have to thank you. All righty, we are ready for someone else. Absolutely, I'm going to I'm going to shake things up shake a little. Things up. If I can have one of you here, I'm yeah. going to go on the end and have them in the middle again, so they I can look back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Musical off. chairs. Oh. Right. <laughs> Rob Murray, Duncan, Melbourne Jackson, and Seth. Hello, and, everyone. Uh, Hello. GateCon guests. You're doing good. Thank you. This has been this has been a blast. And I, you know, I'm not just saying that because everybody's here, but everybody that's been involved. <laughs> everybody that's been involved in this thing has been absolutely incredible. Yeah. And. I, my, my saying to people is, is, this, is, 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 is the relationships we have with each other is as if we're all in the same family. We have the same parents, but we never live together. Because yeah. you meet people and you're like, so hey, well put. we yeah. don't have the same experience. And in other Stargate conventions as well, but this one is particularly, has, it particularly has a wonderful family feel. And, uh, and again, I can't help but say, but the Make-A-Wish um, uh, scenario is also a wonderful plus and made this a real joy you know, to know that we're trying to help others. It's Correct. Wonderful. I think that that's the spirit of, of, of what the best of science fiction has always given us is, you know, oh, I think I see her. I think I see her. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> trying to give back, you know, and I watch people so generous with the gifts that they have had and have been given. So willing to turn around and share that with others here in the form of, of the different charity functions. Or, I mean, just, we were talking with Linda earlier and uh, uh, I'm gonna toot your horn a little bit here. The, the fact that you went out of your way to, Linda went out of her way to find these ticket, these tickets, these dinner tickets that were not going to get used, went out of her way to get them to people who were going to miss the, the banquet. And there were some people who were in a financial position that they were not expecting to be in, who really appreciated not only the chance to eat when they weren't expecting to have food for the night, but to have an entertaining show as well. That's Bravo, the spirit yeah. of science fiction and Stargate and all of us coming together. That's the like-mindedness of the people who are here. We all think that way. I think Linda more. I think Linda is one of the more generous people I've ever met. That's why she's my producer. I, say, I don't know if I'm that generous. So. <laughs> and she's kooky. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's that's why that's why I love this event. Isn't it kind of uh, you know? I don't mean to sound like a goofball, but it's not that difficult to adopt this mindset, but it does seem rare in many places. So um, I feel like I'm in this cocoon and I'm glad to be here and I'm gonna miss all of you. I'm gonna mm -hmm. miss this situation. So uh, gotta do this again as soon as possible. Oh, absolutely. So we would love to hang out with you again. Because um, I absolutely just love the, treat, like, the, I guess the casual nature of this whole thing. You know, we've just like had casual drinks with you. Um, same chats. Before. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, yeah. One of my favorite uh, moments was when we were watching the uh, the show last night. We we're all sitting together in what I refer to as the, one of the fun corners of the uh, of the hall. We we're just having our drinks, just chatting, singing along. It was just really nice to just kind of have this little moment of camaraderie with everybody. We're all in the same place at the same time, just enjoying a nice evening as a little Stargate family, and it's just really sweet. So. Yes, yes. And you were really, really charming, you know? Like, I only saw you as Seth, I never got to meet you prior to that, like, yeah. or after, or whatever. And so seeing you, I was like, oh wow, this guy's really nice. We yeah. were we were right ready to join your um, 
Your cult. cult. Yes. There you go. <laughs> the working. cult of Seth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. People don't even know what the cult is, and you know, you got to give it some time. But uh, in <laughs> fiction land, people, in fiction land. I didn't even know what a cult was growing up until I watched that episode, and I was like, oh damn, stay away from that. So, <laughs> so thank you for protecting me as I got older. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out. So um, we don't know what the future holds right now, do we? No. Yeah. Um, Hopefully good things. I, well, yeah. Uh, next year is very unlikely. A year after that, I say 50-50. Yeah. Um, will there be another GateCon? Yeah. yeah it's okay. just a question of when. Yes, yes, You yes. know, Amazon is going to produ produce something. Yes. And this is, the, this is the first convention that is going to be able to get atop that wave. It's not going to be sucked in by it because right. it's already put in the legwork yeah. in terms of making its footprint known. Right, right. It seems like a, a no-brainer in one way, because in business, we want to know that something is going to sell. And there's a massive fan base, and now I'm seeing younger, young, like 12-year-old, 14-year-olds getting hooked into it. You know, so we've got this, you know, that's why they do various uh, uh, sort of superhero stories oh, again, and, and there's a, a version two, a version three, because we know that the audience loves them. Well, we know the audience loves Stargate, so I think from a business perspective, we should move forward and get another series going. Absolutely. I know, and I have kids, so I'm going to force them to watch Stargate, and then you'll have a whole new generation. So. Excellent, excellent. Get busy with that, will you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Petta. Not a moment Times to lose. Are <laughs> oh, Petta. <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend. Yeah. Rob. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, we guys. really appreciate having, appreciate having you bookend both of these uh, yeah. ends of this yes, event. Yes. This is thank very you, special. And thank you for this and the, pr the work that you do in helping us broadcast and let everybody know. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you, David. Yes. Absolutely. All right, guys, I'll leave you now. Ciao. Go with Seth. Indeed. <laughs> thank, thank you, you sir. so much. <laughs> what a nice guy. Hmm, okay, I see number one. Is there a number one available? Numero uno. A number one. Who could number one be? I, mean, I don't know. Uh, but number two seems to be quite occupied, so we're going to get number one here. It Where is, is a, uh, a guest star, I believe from, I think from SG-1, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Uh, it is an individual, I believe, who has not appeared on Dial the Gate before. Really? I believe so. Ooh. Uh, unless it's another, <laughs> unless it's another person with this first name, it's like, oh, I forgot about them. Yeah. But it is indeed. All Her right. Hair is you all fabulous. remember an episode called Reckoning. Fantastic episode. Um, fantastic episode. Make sure it's turned on there. And uh, he was undergoing a bit of a transformation Hello. then as a non-corporeal right, form. Standing thing. But I'm sorry, David. Mister <laughs> Dean. Hello, sir. How are we doing? Hello, David. I'm well, thank you, sir. It's great to have you. Thanks you... for joining us. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> so you played Anubis in Reckoning, and it was Reckoning, right? Not it was, Threads? It was Reckoning. So you were yes. the first iteration of what we saw as the, the human-based Anubis. Yes, the, the un... Hooded, if you will, yes, yeah. The, Absolutely. The first in human form. And, and the funny thing is, it's the first time I ever met you, David, uh, when we interacted and talked about it, you reminded me that it was indeed season eight, and it was reckoning. He knew more <laughs> about what I was in than I did. So, yeah, that's, uh, quite, yeah, quite. I mean, I think as fans, you know, Anubis is such a fantastic character, and seeing him appear in corporeal form for the first time properly, mm -hmm. uh, when he's not inhabiting random hosts at the beginning of season eight, yeah. is really cool. That's right. He had his own personality there, you know? Right. Right. It was really interesting to see. And your face looked messed up. Yeah, I was going to say, was awesome. how long did it take them to do the makeup? Oh, uh, it was brilliant. For four and a half hours, from 5 a.m. in the in the morning until almost noon, mm -hmm. they had me in in the hair and makeup. They'd, wow. they'd he had he had pre-made almost everything, and uh, we we'd fitted my eyes to, for the full. They were full eye contacts because oh, wow. yeah, I don't know if you've seen them, but they're. Uh, same. I saw the behind the scenes of you actually getting it done. It's on the yeah. DVD. Yeah, oh, right. I remember they, they had a little like bit of like skin flap. They were trying to debate whether they wanted to keep it on or not yeah, if it was, it was too was much. Flashy, right? Yeah. And then, and oh, then that's gross. <laughs> it is. And, and they used KY jelly. Too. Oh really? Really? Yeah, which is like a lubricant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, so, and they put it on, but it works really well and stays that sort of glistening mm. for the camera. Gotcha. Pretty freaking the, cool. The analog for the non-sci-fi version of what was happening to him was 
it looked like radiation burns. Is yeah. That, is, is, or is there, is there a the better... Idea. Okay. Is that, is that, is, is that Anubis's um, corporeal form was so powerful that he couldn't, um, he, he really couldn't get himself uh, to, to stay in these human forms because they would deteriorate. <laughs> So very yeah. quickly, right? They're yeah, yeah. too vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of what's going on. We have a we have a, a wandering. Sorry. Have, have, have you I seen saw the chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in from it. Jeez. Was she in this frame? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I think so, I just think a little so. bit. I think she was, yeah. been good. But no, it was the the makeup was amazing. Yeah, wasn't it? And yeah. I'm sure that it only helped to enhance your performance and just put you in that space because not only is he, did you play at all? The character exp experiencing pain, or was it sounded just like, like a it. nuisance? You I sounded tried. mad. You tried because it would just it would have been like a like a bug bite almost. Yeah, like a, like a yeah, my mosquito bite, but by plenty is what I was kind of thinking. Is that I'm in this place of going and it's constantly going on like that, right? Say say something's popping over here and something's popping right. over here while I'm talking to Cliff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it, right. I thought it was giving quite, him a good scolding. Trying to you know stay in that place. Yeah. Yeah. The truth is, the makeup really sold it. Yeah, I don't think it was me. You looked fabulous. Oh, no, no. I, I think that, that was a fantastic mixture of both yeah, of them. They did a great job. You know, you sounded excellent. I know they had all the enhancements and stuff added on. It was but you super great. cool to go to ADR and do that. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you did that in ADR. Yeah, yeah. well, they had to give the whole, you know, to Fair. it. And, and so. There's yeah. so, yeah, the plan. Yeah, and in, yeah. in order to match my voice and what I have going back in there, right? And of course, we recorded it when we first did it. Yeah. And yeah. Then we go back into ADR and, we, and then I. And then I read it again, you know, in, in a little more, a little more gruff like form, mm. and then they played with it. Fun, fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So the, all of that is our real voice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's I was a kid awesome. when I first saw that, so I found you very scary. So Yay. you know, you did a good job freaking me out. But he's not scary in person. No, no, in person he's lovely. He's got this beautiful head of hair. Like your oh, hair is fantastic. You and your curls, they're oh, lovely. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Well done. I like that. <laughs> I like the color of your hair. Oh, thank you. Isn't it lovely? It is. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's uh, I was going prematurely gray, so I thought I'll just lean into it and go pink. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's what I'll do. Yeah. yeah I'm in. <laughs> and I still retain my natural color, so yes, that's good. Well done. Thank you. Thank at, you. At yes. 25. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to say at 25? Yes. I'm 24, man. Oh, 24, man. Sorry. <laughs> GateCon highlight for you. This is your second one, yes? No, I've been here. I've crashed since 2006. Every oh, I've Gatecon, missed a few. Okay. I've been to every one I've, of man, them. Man, my wow. off. Okay. Yes, and uh, this, uh, that being 2016, 2018, now this, the third one. You're more one. devoted fan than us. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, 2016, 2018, and this one, they've accepted me, put me in the book all and all right. that stuff where I didn't have to crash. But I was going to show up anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> so a highlight for you from this one besides being in the book. Um, the camaraderie, the, 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 the getting back to, hopefully back to normal stuff. That's right. kind of what I like the most. And the hugs and the, and, the, and the being able to share the appreciation for your fandom and your ideas and your, and your love and, and, and your experiences of, of enjoying Stargate and, and, and our performances and what you were going through at the time yeah. and how it helped you or how it, how it made you better. It's like, that's what I enjoy. And, and uh, I, I really had that interaction. That's, yeah. Well, that's you're great. my favorite bad guy, so don't tell the others. Okay. Whoa, that's they a high bar. I know. Yeah. That's a high bar. Bold Absolutely. statement. Bold yeah. statement. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's All right. very nice of you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank we you. will have you back on Dial the Gate this fall if you would be willing. I would love to. Yeah. All right. I look I'll, forward to it. We'll, we'll put you down. So, okay. Yeah. I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate like you. It's so nice to meet the both of you yes, again. Yes, it's nice to meet you too. All right. Absolutely. Okay. Can you in, uh, can we bring on our next yes. lovely lady? Thank We're you, sir. All right. Things, Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Exit stage left. <laughs> <laughs> There's also yeah, we've got a wipe there or here we go. There's a certain uh, Jaffa warrior who um, has been among us for a while now. We've had the privilege of bringing her on in Dial the Gate. Simone Bailey, one of my favorite oh, nice. people. And you're one of my favorite people. Oh, oh my goodness. You? And you're my new favorite people. <laughs> oh, you're lovely. 
I was, I was just going to say, it's really uh, one of my favorite things about Stargate is the strong female characters. Yes. And every time you, you reappeared, I was like, oh my God, yes, finally. Let's go. Let's I got go. that today where uh, a few fans actually came up to me, you know, today and they were like, thank you for Girl representing. Power. Totally and we ass. wish we had more of that. Absolutely. And we will, yeah, right? I think so. We will will it that we will have mm -hmm. more. Yeah, I think we're well underway. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Favorite highlights from this convention? Ooh. Always uh, the green room with all the actors and, and everyone who worked on the show that's uh, guesting here. You so family included. reunion. Yeah, family reunion. Um, and also the fans that I've now known for years, but even though we see each other like every few years, it's fantastic. And then the other new people. And uh, so I just, I felt a real connection. I like cried twice, I'll admit, I cried twice today. Wow. Um, just with really like authentic, deep connections with, with uh, fans. And uh, that's, that's it for me, you know? Yeah, it's really special. Yeah. I think that um, your art is amazing. Thank you. Oh, yes. And I would <laughs> love to feature it in season three. Yes. So I think we're going to begin a process of getting a piece. What is it called when you when you make a um, uh, uh, a piece for? Thank you. Commission. I think we're going to have a to have a commit a piece commissioned for um, the Dial the Gate set in season yes. three. So that would be terrific. Absolutely. And I would like some. I art feel myself. a chevron coming on. Yes, I oh. knew it was going to be like an abstract <laughs> chevron. That was fantastic. <laughs> you feel a chevron coming on. <laughs> I get 10% at least. No, I was going to say, if you're doing one chevron, you know there are nine in total, so, you know, I, I, would, I would love one as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Can you? I don't know how much I'd pay for that, but a lot. <laughs> Too much. Can, can you tell us uh, your next plans? Anything uh, that we're going to be seeing you in soon? My evil plans or my... No, I'm just kidding. I, I have no evil plans. Well, how plans. evil are they, evil Simone? No, no. I wish I did. You get that on board with be, evil. That would be fun. I wish I had, like, a bat cave, but no. Um, plans for my life? Career. Oh, like, career. What, what are we going to see next? Oh, okay. Um, What's in the pipeline? So I just finished a movie with, uh, directed by Martin Wood, who also directed really? United in Stargate SG-1. And so we just finished a, a Christmas movie uh, called Must Love Christmas. It's going to be on CBS and Paramount Plus. Ooh, I have Paramount Plus, yes. Me Soon. Too. It's, you know, it's just in uh, in time for Christmas, hopefully. Yeah, it's just in Oh, absolutely. Right yeah. Well, this I is love a good Christmas movie. Yeah. Martin then, is fantastic. Uh, I have another movie I'm filming this month, but I can't talk about it. But it's what's the genre? Christmassy. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Love a good Christmas so. movie. So <laughs> honestly, nothing better. Nothing brings up the Did spirits more. Did you know more. that I was actually in Elf? Oh, what? what? If you watch Elf. Uh, oh, really? When Will Ferrell goes to the department store oh and God. he goes to the perfume part and he starts like just doing, and yes. he's just kind of confused. He just puts it into his mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is that so you? So you see me in, the, in like this, I was playing like a, <laughs> a perfume, like, you know, they have you in the doctor kind of like. Yeah. Uh, what's Get that up. called? Like, like lab coat type thing? Lab coat, yeah. Lab coat. Lab coat. Uh, yeah, so, and yeah, my, my ponytail, that's me, yeah. Oh I'm gonna watch so that. every Christmas, I love Elf, and yeah. I'm like, oh, there is. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be cool. sure to look out for it next time. Yeah. Next time I see it. I love I'll playing Watch, watch the Stargate year. person, so I'm super excited to play that yeah. with her. Yes. We're gonna go hunt you down in a nice way. Oh, yes. Just point it out. every Christmas now. Yeah, literally, I love it. It's a great film. It is a great film, yeah. for sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There we go again. Drive by clucking. I need a big net. <laughs> Jeez. Goodness. I yeah. think um, we need to bring on Alan, if you could go and grab Thank him. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for <laughs> continuing you know, to liven up our stage. And it, it, I, we recorded. I'm the gift that keeps on giving, as well as your outfit so, is also an absolute treat for the eyes. Oh, thank we, you. Oh, your shoes are amazing. The, I, I they saw are. those earlier. They're, they're amazing. They're very silvery and, and sparkly. Starry. Holographic. Um, we uh, recorded something special this week, Simone and I, 
um, a commentary of Birthright, which introduced Kal-El. The first episode on Stargate SG-1. Fantastic and it was episode. a treat sitting down and talking with you about it. So um, I'm, we're try I'm trying to figure out when the release window is going to be. But um, cool. I was really exciting to, to go through that bit by bit. So thank you. Thank you. For spending time. Much love. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you Simone. <laughs> Appreciate you. Simone Bailey. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. There are a number of people. Ooh. Uh, well then. Oh, we're kidnapping him next? Mr. Cunningham is signing. Colin's about to get kidnapped. But I think we're going to get to him in a moment. I think Alan is going to come up next. My favorite Aussie, other than Evie. There are Wig people. It's like get con father. It's like uh, get con daddy. Been, <laughs> here he goes. Oh my God. I want to sign for There are people pen. who have been responsible for this event from day one. Oh, do you get one? I want to sign this chair. Since What's 2000. And Alan Gowan, a dear friend of mine, uh, he is one of what's called the C4, the original four uh, GateCon people. He talks so much, doesn't he? I do. He loves hearing himself talk, doesn't he? He's <laughs> gushing. He's great. I'm kidding, obviously. He's Have you had some alcohol? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Alan has uh, been the master of ceremonies since day one. 2000, September 2000, 22 years ago. Wow. I was young back then. Um, and a lot skinnier, but uh, yeah, no, it was. A I lot think of fun. you look better now. I feel a bit better, a lot yeah. better. Um, I've actually got skin on my bones because yeah. I was a twig. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so good to be here. Absolutely. This is my first actual live one with both of you. My my trivia contest. Um, That's right. I'm not gonna lie. Share the screen before. Uh, Alan is yeah. my dude. I love this guy so much already. <laughs> yeah. The second like I met him, it took me a second to realize it was him, and then I was like, oh damn. That uh, is MG. that that guy is awesome. You're yeah. a Stargate Papa. He's my GateCon daddy. Oh. Well, that's <laughs> you know that's been the yeah. thing. Watching this like like bromance burgeon between all of you. If I wasn't jealous, I'd be jealous. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, but like af having everyone here, you know, bringing you guys into the fold, yeah. uh, and watching the the growth of the community, the chemistry uh, develop. The, yeah. The start, it has been just exciting. Yeah, I walk by you guys, and you're all sitting there oh, having a good we're, time. We're together constantly. And it's like yeah. this is French fantastic. Storm. This is what it's yeah. for. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know? Exactly. I mean, you know, from the from the first time you invited me to the Dollar Gate trivia. Um, I didn't think you'd accept. Well, I was well, ungodly did. hour. I almost wasn't going to accept because it was well ungodly hour for me. Hello. Yeah. Um, well, uh, yeah, and Evie. Yeah. I had to wake up early, but Evie just had to stay, stay awake. <laughs> yeah, Perth, Sydney. Yeah. yeah. So. Good point. And um, you know, just the whole crew that were there. I was really impressed with everyone, and um, and. And Nick's sense of humor was just, it was cracking I, I'm up. I'm glad someone appreciates it, it. I do. I seriously appreciate he, it. He gets me as an Aussie, so. And, and he, Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's doing some side I'm stuff. I'm emceeing as well, so. And, and Eva was so cool. And I just had an instant connection because she was on the other side of the country. I knew what time it was. <laughs> I, um, I was surprised. I thought, oh, my God, I, Dave has got Jodie Comer in because I thought she was like Jodie Comer. <laughs> And, that is um, such a compliment. I know, I know. I wish I got one that good. Oh, you just rock. Oh, thank That's you. That's all Aww. you need, one word, rock. Aww. And, um, I, yeah, I did not want to do it at first. Mm. I was really scared. Um, Scared of what? Oh, just, I don't know, you know. Scared, Embarrassing yourself on live television. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I do every time I'm on it, and I regret it, and then I go, ah. But I'm sure no. you thought the same thing September 2000. Yeah. So, oh, oh, and the, here you are now. The first, the very first time I walked on stage at GateCon, at, at September 2000, I did this really cheesy gate opening thing. We we built ourselves a Stargate. Uh, we built it. We built it at Norco, which was the construction facility for Stargate. They let us build it there. Um, it was a three-quarter scale, so it was huge. And we put a video screen behind it. And back home, I attempted to do this really cheesy step through the wormhole <laughs> thing. And then when the gate shut down in total darkness, I did appear in front of the, the gate. So it looked like I was there. Yeah. Didn't go to plan. Looked terrible. Uh, my green screening at home was 
You tried terrible. though, that's tried. the important thing. And then I got up in front of everyone and went, Welcome to Gay Calendar. I was so scared, I was stuttering. You're nervous? You had a nervous character? Oh my goodness. You couldn't imagine. You're complete opposite now. I know, right? Now it's like, yeah, yeah, get on stage. Uh, no, but <laughs> Alan nervous what? Um, it was actually uh, Tony Amendola that noticed because he'd been for the first few, and he said, "Alan, you just you just keep getting more confident." Each Correct. Convention. Yeah, and, and uh, wise words from Master Braytech, of course. Yeah, and um, and yeah, I, I sometimes I felt maybe a bit too confident, a little bit blasé about it because I was confident. Um, but um, yeah, no, really it's. Um, Hello. 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 <laughs> did you say something? I just did. You just did. Don't believe a word you're saying. Uh, can I introduce Mr. <laughs> Mr. Richard Pascoe from GateCon, one of the owners of GateCon as well. And um, pleased to meet you. The friendliest owner. Oh, the friendliest. Yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, There's some very amusing notes written on these shirts that I won't repeat. There's one on the back you really should repeat. <laughs> well. <laughs> Have you met Nicole and Evie? We have. Yes, we have. We cool. have repeatedly. Yes. I kept oh, throwing money times. at him so I could buy stuff, you know? Oh, cool. Yeah, but <laughs> so, <then>. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, money, in a nice, money, respectful money, money, way. Money. It was, it, well, I met some great people. It was great. A special memory from this event, Richard, if you could, someone, yeah. A special memory. <sighs> it's more than one, really. It's yeah. the fact that we're back together after so long. Um, the fact that it's taken so long to plan this one and we weren't sure until yeah. the last minute oh, yeah. whether it's going to go ahead. Oh, yeah. COVID tried to suck it out yeah. and you're, no, one, no one's yeah. going to keep you down. Yeah. So, no, it was a relief to finally get back together again and to feel fairly normal with it as well. Yeah, it did, and it did feel fairly normal. Yeah. I mean, you know, with any convention, there's... Um... Oh, well, sorry. I, Whoa. Nick's there. Uh, with any convention, there's... Um... There's hurdles to overcome. Correct. And I think, and even though this convention had more, way more hurdles to overcome than other ones, I think we handled it quite, quite well. Yeah, yeah, so. really well. Yeah. And it feels successful. It feels like the same atmosphere was here. Mm. Yeah. I don't think it's lost anything because of the delay. Yeah. So well, from a, from a guest perspective, it seemed pretty seamless. Yeah. 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 And uh, apart from appearances, we actually really do like each other. <laughs> so he says. But, um, but both being sort of uh, from similar ish you know, cultures, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, you know, English, Aussie. English, and the Aussies are total bros, yes. Yeah, um, where you know, we speak to each other in insults. Yeah. But that's how, that's how <laughs> we... I insulted Alan a lot this weekend. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the bigger the, re the insult, the more the we like the person. Yeah, yeah, of course. Exactly. Absolutely. Do we have any idea yeah. on how much money we raised for charity yet? I've heard around 16000 at the moment. But there's still a little oh, bit more to be counted. And this is to make a wish. Make a and wish and about a thousand to wraps, which is uh, the animal protection. Was that for Paul McGillian's? No, that's the, the local cat sanctuary in Richmond. Oh, understood. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, congratulations, doing good things, you guys. Yeah. Thank you. And you're doing yourselves proud. Total of what? Where are we at? 200 and. Total over the yeah, years. Right. 450 ish. Yeah, so <laughs> almost yeah. half a million dollars. Yeah. And one year we donated more than Microsoft Canada yep. uh, to make a wish. And uh, Disney, I think, was the other one. And wasn't Disney, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And oh, be, wow. from yeah. the love of a TV series. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Just from a bunch of sci fi nerds. That has yeah. nothing right. to do with That's these charities, impressive. but they choose to give to it anyway. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah, the charities have always been special. and um, But what always amazes me is that we raised that much from a small audience. Yeah. It's yeah, not a big event. Yeah, yeah, this is a, a small, one of our smaller People audiences. are so generous. Yeah. You just yeah. get some alcohol into people and they'll spend big. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely part of it. I think the other part of it is it's been four years. People have been bottled up, mm -hmm. and they're some of a lot of them are just done. Yeah. You know, yeah. I want to I want to get back out there, and I want to do something good with some of the gifts that I have been blessed with. Yeah. Yeah. But yo, know, credit to Star, Stargate fans in general because even this this was good. But even in when we've had a year to year convention or two yearly convention, um, they've. They've really donated. They've spent big. They've raised money for you know, whatever charity we were supporting at the mm. time, Make-A-Wish and, and, and C uh, CF. Um, sea Shepherd. Sea Shepherd. Oh, gosh, yes. Um, it's, they've just given the whole time. Mm. Uh, there hasn't needed to be any sort of big break like we've just had. They've just always yeah. been some of the 
kindest, open, giving fans mm-hmm. that I've seen. So, yeah, credit, credit to all Stargate fans, I think. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to leave you with the capable Alan who doesn't know when to shut up because I've got to write some dirty comments on T-shirts. Yeah, they're pretty wild. Absolutely. Keep an eye on. Okay. You'll be safe. Thanks, Rich. I'm jealous. Alan, I want to get in on this oh, writing. I, thank God he's gone. I'm back to my girls. <laughs> <Aww>. Well, <laughs> you that screw back. that. Stargate sold daughters. You get out yeah, of here, yeah. David. <laughs> no one likes you anyway. So, how you been? Oh, You've been good? Honestly, Is honestly, it? having a fantastic time. Get back it's so, it, I was going to say, it's so much better without him. He's just, just Sorry. us three. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, wow. No, David. No, back here. My voice is like going, out, going, 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 more and going, more. going, going. All the screaming last night at the auction and all the wooing oh, I was doing. Oh, the screaming. And me with the paddles last night. This man can and, run. Um, oh, you are oh, yeah. Man, you are absolutely. I, it's I, like Flash I, Allen. I will, so during the auction... They, they have paddles here for, for questions and for, for the auction when people are raising their hands. And these people are running like chickens with their heads cut off. I don't know what's okay. going on. <laughs> Alan, is there going to be another GateCon? 50-50 at the moment. 50-50 at the moment. Okay. Yeah, we've got uh, half of us that want to do it. The other half are hesitant about doing it. Um, well, it's sort of gone from half yes, half no, to half yes, half maybe. So we're working on it. That's pretty solid. I, I have said, look, I'm o- I'm open for bribes. <laughs> I, um, That's what I like to say anything too. Anything to to get the other organisers across the line to get another one going. Uh, if you would have asked me yesterday, especially after the auction, like I was almost dead after three items with all the running I did. And if you would have yeah. asked me yesterday, sorry, if there's another. Gatecon coming order went, oh no, 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 I'm getting too old. But you didn't drink enough, obviously. No, obviously. Uh, but today, I'm back to a yes. Wow. Okay. So I would like to see another Gatecon. I, I do think that it's, unless Amazon announces tomorrow that there's a new show, yep. I do think that a Gatecon 2023 is probably unreasonable. Mm. Oh no, uh, if but anything, it would be 2024. It would definitely be a 24. We, Start saving. We have um, recently gone to. Uh, two yearly conventions uh, so I think our next one regardless would be 2024 that gives um, Am- Amazon Prime time to uh, do a, their you know, job a little bit to um, do their thing are you watching Amazon bring do it. us bring it back Stargate now, now. spend some money please <laughs> yeah, the Lord magic knows words, you please. can spend time in Middle Earth. I think we can spend a few hundred thousand of those dollars. Yeah, do you know how many times I've gotten up like at 3 a.m. so I could be part of a Twitter storm? Um, yeah, to get oh it my going. gosh, yes. The amount of sleep I've lost because of it. <laughs> you need to listen yeah, to I'm the Twitter storm, that. guys. <laughs> Come on, Amazon. Yeah, absolutely, because we all know Twitter's the real world. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, but I mean, in here, hello, Jenny. In here, um, I think it's it's pretty crystal clear. The love of this franchise is not dissipating. Uh, well, yeah. I think the love of the franchise is growing because Absolutely. after 22 years, and how long has it been since it's been on the air? Uh, uh, 2011. 2011. Yeah. So 11, 11, 11 years. years. We have people here that are under the age of 20. Correct. In the audience who love Stargate. We have young people Wish I here. I'm still that person. <laughs> You're still young. I know. <laughs> we have young people in the audience. Yeah. We have young fans in the audience. Yeah. Um, they're watching Stargate again on streaming, uh, on all of these platforms, and they're loving it. And the special effects are still holding up. And, yes. And it's good quality fun. Yep. And in some cases, I've said this before, more relevant now than it yep. was, which yep. is kind of some of it. Absolutely. And that's kind of exactly. creepy. Yeah. Um, so. so we need to... We need them to do more more things. Because if we're getting a younger audience now, if they bring out a new series, we've got They're a gonna brand watch new it. generation of Stargate fans. Right. We're going to have two to three generations of Stargate fans. And when I pop out kids, we're going to have even more generations of Stargate fans. <laughs> more, more, more. More Stargate fans. The operative <laughs> word being when. Yeah. Um, so it, I, My baby's going to come out <laughs> screaming. The first word's going to be Stargate, so. <laughs> Alan, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you again. Oh, no, is Alan oh, no. going? Thank oh, no. you, guys. Uh, I really appreciate um, you bringing me into part of the Dolgate family. 
uh, especially with the uh, the trivia nights. Yes, more please. Uh, more please, okay. definitely. More okay. Please. I'm ready but to lose again. Yeah. yeah, I'm ready to lose to Darren again. <laughs> what the actual? All right. Well, look, well, look, we've all, but, we all lost last time. Come on. Yeah. But okay. please don't ask me to host one again between you and Darren. Um, no. No, no. I, yes. I, I felt really uncomfortable because... I'm so sorry. No, you were just way too smart for me and... Um, and I felt inadequate. No, I didn't. Um, I, I, I thought it was a great time watching my ass get kicked. <laughs> by Darren. So, yeah. Darren right. kicked my butt last time too. Uh, but um, I just asked too many number oh. questions. And they don't like oh, number God. questions. Number questions are hard. Oh, gee. Ladies, yeah. which one of you wants to take a break? Oh, I need the loo. Okay. okay. So, okay. Alan. Thank you, David. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Appreciate thank, thank it. You, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you stop it. Get a room. Oh, I love this man, you know. I, I, I don't want you to go. But I'm I, going I now as well. So. Why don't you go with each other and I'll <laughs> and take that and you take that. I made, a, I made that. Say three times at the auction last night. What? Yeah, exactly. When you said... Oh, no, uh, yeah. That was this morning. Sorry, not yeah, that was morning. I did something naughty in response. Yeah. I'm not going to repeat it. Okay. No, 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 it was, it was a gesture. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you, you can gesture over there. <laughs> okay. Ta-ta, bye-bye. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, you can give that one to Francis. Thank you. Come on. We have more. We have more? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Absolutely. I understand. You good? I think I don't know. And your name? I'm EJ. You're EJ. Okay, there we go. And Francis and I go way back. Yes, we do. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. Um, another convention is done. Special uh, memories from this one. EJ. Oh, okay. Probably, probably first the opening ceremony. Yeah. With the gate. And Terrell coming out through it, and Gary doing the chevrons. Um, that was pretty cool setup they did. And probably Andrew's singing. Andrew Jackson, Persis, had like a 45 minute concert, I understand. Yes, yes wonderful concert. I'm looking forward to DVRing all of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, voice. Um, the tribute to those we have lost. Oh, that was beautiful. Um, actors I'm getting and thinking about it now. actors uh, from Stargate Productions, cast and crew, and GateCon and family. Yes. Alan gave a beautiful tribute. He did, he did. And we miss them all, and we know they're here in spirit with us. And it was just a beautiful tribute. Sorry. Yeah. It's, um, it, was, it was beautiful. That was probably the best moment because we remembered those we don't have with us. And then closing ceremonies, you know, just we felt the love in the room. After all these years, all the actors and everybody coming in, the fans, this is my 17th GateCon. Oh, wow. Straight through. Straight through, basically. No, 15th, sorry, I missed the ones in England. Almost straight through. Almost straight through, <laughs> sorry. Well, that, 17 and this 12. is my first GateCon, and I yeah. got teary watching the tribute right. video. And just, you know, from the first one when I didn't know a single soul, barely knew the show, to lifelong friends, you know, you can't beat it. It's, we are a family. We are a family. Absolutely. Thank you, EJ. Francis, he's the one I've been shouting at for this entire event when I say, all right, let's dial it up. You have been at my back the entire time. And this is not the first event that that has been the case. And I appreciate you having my back and having made possible, the, been the grease between the cogs of this whole thing going. Thank I appreciate you. you and I hope you know how much you contribute to making this thing happen. Thank you. Because you're running with your head cut off. Yeah, all the, the, the volunteers are. But you're not even eating in some cases. And I feel really bad, you know? That, that's okay. It's, it's, it's really fun for me. I enjoy, you know, giving as much as I can to these shows. And it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun, you know? Um, even seeing behind the scenes, let's say, you know, 
seeing what's going on, what makes this happen, is obviously the helping out part. Because as an attendee, you have fun, you enjoy the show, and it might look very easy to run, and it's really not. Because, you know, you, there's people who have to wake up very early yeah. and um, make sure the guests arrive uh, on time, are where they need to be, and there's all the technical details, and, um, you We know, sign shirts. We, That's we, a thing. Yes. Um, and sometimes people will come up, you know, and sign your shirt, and that's absolutely fine. <laughs> um, or they sign things. Good that segue. Show on that's TV. Exactly, yeah. Oh, that too. So. But yeah, and I enjoyed playing with Alan's new toy and helping out with Dial the Gate. Hello, Colin. Hello, Colin. I, I, immensely, thank you. Um, Can I say something about the volunteers? Please be my guest. Shut me up. But Francis here, he was doing the stuff for you. Yeah. But if. I needed something, he was more than willing to help. All of the volunteers, it doesn't matter what position they are in, if somebody needed help from them, they helped. And that is what is amazing about the volunteers for GateCon, is they realize it takes a family to do this. It takes a team with a spirit of, no, I'm, not, I'm just working this section. Yeah, no attitude at all. No attitude. It's like, you need it? Okay, great. You can't do it? We'll do it. Yeah. And that's how it gets done. Yeah. Got each other's backs. Every, every time. Favorite, favorite memory from this convention? Ooh. Major Davis. <laughs> I, well, well, get him I off really, stage. I, I really enjoyed the the comedy <laughs> uh, magical show. That was um, yes. <laughs> uh, um, no, it's really hard to pick because I enjoy for so many reasons, so many different parts. I loved Andrew Jackson singing. Um, I loved learning your stuff, even with the whole dial the gate and yeah. playing with the toys. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if, uh, yes. Um, you be careful. I'll hire you on as a producer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then even these parties. I mean, you get yeah. signed by everybody. Give us some good coverage. Yes, and uh, as soon as you're off the air, I want you guys as well. There's okay. no room left, man. Oh, I've got oh, space in the back. The I know, but I, I just it's just. Well, because this is what. You know, it's memories. It's Correct. memories. And it's not just the guests. I mean, it's all the volunteers again. And this is everybody, all, yeah. all the family. And it doesn't matter, you know, which side of the stage you are or what size of the size of the camera. I'm sorry, I'm Italian. English sometimes failed me, fails me, especially after three days of the show. Um, it's all the family. And how would you display Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Would you just find keep it in your, in your closet? Can we do or would something with them? Uh, no, I, I have no space to frame it anymore. <laughs> but I have, and actually, yes, you can wash Sharpies. Mm -hmm. it, it stays on. And I have all, uh, like, I, I will never need to buy a t shirt again because I have so many. <laughs> but I won't, won't wear them, obviously. It's, just all, it's all good memories. It's all good yeah. memories. Yeah. And then when I get home, I get to read everything because I can't read them now. But then, you get home and you got love letters from your friends. Absolutely, and you know we all deal with rough you patches. Really do. You really do. You really do. Yes, yes. you have like a and whole paragraph we've, here. We've got normal lives. We've got we've got periods of of darkness and light. Um, it's moments like these that we have to hang on to, you know. And I think that there's been a fair bit of darkness that we've had to deal with over the past few years. And man, what huh, what a beam of light this has been. <laughs> the GateCon has been the high beams for, for everyone in this room. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I needed it. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, with the last few years, I mean, this has been postponed since 2020 yeah. because of everything. And everybody was getting kind of, oh my God, maybe it's not ever gonna happen again. Yes. And to finally have it, to finally see these friends that we haven't seen for four years, because the last one was in 2018. Right. You know, it was just big hugs all around, and you know, that stress of everyday life just kind of stopped at the hotel door, and our 
imaginary world of Gate Pond here took over. Did, did I just feel like coming back home to this it, hotel? Every like, time. You know, <laughs> I mean, even the staff of the hotel yeah. remember yeah. who we are. Yeah. You know, and, and I mean, I used to bring donuts to one of them. The guy retired, Cam. Oh, wow. If you remember Cam. I have a very bad memory, but. But, you know, they, they remember us, and they mm. are in on the Gate Con thing. They they know the actors. They know the staff. They, you know, it's just. Yeah. It's amazing. It's scary when the hotel staff recognizes you. <laughs> it's like, okay, I've, I'm, I've you been again. here too often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, just, I don't know. It is. It, it's, it's, it's like coming home. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've definitely felt very welcome. Um, I'm not a, um, an old Stargate fan. I guess I'm relatively new. I've only been watching it for maybe the past 10 to 12 years. Um, but I've felt nothing but like love and acceptance um, from both the staff and also from the guests. So it's been it's been a real pleasure. It was um, definitely worth the 22 hour flight <laughs> from Australia for sure. Um, and I've been I've been looking forward to this. And, and like you said, I just didn't know if it was going to happen. You know, I bought these tickets back in 2019, and um, with COVID, it just kept me getting pushed back and pushed back. And I. I just really wanted to hold on to that ticket. Um, you know, it was almost like like a light at the end of the COVID tunnel, you know? Yes, yeah. exactly. It was so, like, mm. this is my hope for a better exactly, future. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Geekcon tickets were a hope for a better future. And I just kept on going, as long as we can get through this, I can yeah. get to Vancouver, I can go to Geekcon, um, you know, make some new friends, and just, it'll all be worth it. And it has been. It's been a, a really uh, invaluable experience. But, and just to latch on to something you said, you know, mm. if there's somebody that's coming over, thinking I'd really like to do to come over, and uh, but I'm by myself, you know, I flew over from Italy by myself the first time, and I didn't know anybody. It's like I started meeting people. You know, you just need to just say hello to somebody and just not be, yep. you know, not be afraid to just. You know, approach someone and say, hi, I'm new. Yeah, and, man, and people I, will welcome you. Doesn't yeah, well, matter. even if you're an introvert, like you're coming to a yeah. convention where you have something in common with everybody. Exactly. So at least you've got, you've got like topic. an instant friend. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much well, for, for thank you. this. Absolutely. We have something special. Uh, not that you guys aren't special. <laughs> we have something really cool next. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and bring them in. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, We have uh, the the last five original from all gate cons. I will take the photograph. Absolutely. Okay. If you want to continue, so who? So who's? What what am I about to do here? What's what's about well, to happen? I'm going to take the photograph of the only five people who've been to every convention, including the two in the UK. Okay. Okay, so, so Elaine. Ladies. Oh, did you want me to I can get off? Come on. Get off. So we've got Elaine Marr, Monica Edmonds, Jane Graff, oh. Alan Gowan, and Jim Pesco. Jim. So I'm not the only one? No. It's just you. Oh. Jeez, <laughs> all right, gang. Would you guys like to say anything? The, 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 here, yeah. I've already been. She, yeah. Here with these, these two haven't. Thanks. <laughs> no, I love GateCon. It's not a convention. It's a family, and that's why I at least have come back. So. Uh, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet. I Thanks love it. That. Absolutely. Thank you guys Thank for you. continuing to make such a magical event. Disney is not the only place where you build memories, you know? Magic happens again. It sure does. And Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Disney. And continued success, you know? I can't wait to see what happens next. Treja. Whoops, sorry. Right? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Absolutely. These things take time. So, I'm good. All right. We're almost wrapping it up here. I really appreciate everyone who's uh, been tuning in for, I don't even know what time it is. Uh, uh, I've got uh, 
no phone. So um, it's really special to see the number of people who are still uh, tuned in and seeing what's going on. You're good. Yeah. Give, give us a hug. Don't, don't, no hug and run. Aww. Oh, I almost bumped you in the face. <laughs> ah, love you. All right. How are we doing? Mr. Mark? Mark Haynes. No, it's fine. Yeah, absolutely. Somewhere. So we can hang here. That's uncomfortable across both. Map up? Let me see here. Okay. Sweet, absolutely. Come on, bring it up. You can. So, Mark Haynes. Yes, sir. How are we doing? We're doing very well. We're doing very well. Stargate Comics. Hello. Yes, indeed. Stargate Comics, Stargate Atlantis, Stargate Universe. And, um, and over this weekend, Stargate Messages, this special kind of live event where we got some famous, uh, well, famous in our community and famous outside of our community actors to reprise their roles and hear the first lines that they've spoken since the show's ended. You know, which, which was, you know, when I suggested to Richard that we try it, I was just like, what do you think about this idea that we write just something fun for, for people to do? And because it was for me, it was like, I wanted to hear them, you know, I wanted to hear Beckett, I wanted to hear Zelenka, I wanted to hear Walter again. It and, was magical to oh, witness. Oh, thank you, thank you. And um, we had no idea if it was going to work. And uh, we're just glad it worked. And we're, you know, when Richard recovers, we'll see if he wants to do another one. <laughs> All <laughs> right. <laughs> like every I don't know, I was, give him a couple of years. <laughs> like, well, this is my third gate con, and what I have learned in that time is that Everyone is the last one until it's the next one. They you know? they very much have this like after birth period <laughs> where you, I'll never have another child. Yeah, it's and like it's very much that happening. experience. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking about. That is such a good exactly way to put it. it like. yeah. Wow. Yeah. You, you well, put this... aside all of like the agony and all of the pain. Right. Um, once it's past a few years, you're like, mm -hmm. I can do this again. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I've just... watched them do this cycle after cycle, and at this yeah. point, it's like, whatever. You'll do another <laughs> one. It may be six years, but you'll do another one. Well, the first thing that I, I, I remember um, when uh, the first one I went to, I, I actually paid my way. I was like, I bought a ticket because I had no idea. And he's like, who are you? And I was like, well, I, I wrote these comic books, you know. And he's like, oh, my gosh, you should be a guest. And, you know, I didn't ask for a refund and he didn't offer one. But the next time, you know. <laughs> you <laughs> paid your dues. I did. I did. I mean, and we, I we like, paid for our tickets as well. well I was, doing these things. Really I was, I was completely willing to keep paying because I was yeah. like, why wouldn't I come to this thing? Right. You know, That's and, how I feel as well, yeah. Yeah, and, and my, what was, the, back up for a second, working in the comic book business for the last 20 some years, um, <laughs> the, the I, starting comics uh, and any comic book is, it's hard to penetrate the market of, of um, like if you're going to San Diego Comic Con or something like that. There's so much. There's a hundred thousand people over four days. Mm -hmm. There are thousands of vendors. Incredible works of art. Um, incredible comic projects. And it's it's hard to kind of get through that static, right? But if you go to an event like this, you know, which I compare to um, Star Trek Las Vegas. I don't know if you've yes. ever been to that show. That's it's, it's like, Grand Slam. Yeah, exactly. These it's huge. These focused shows, I love. You know, because it's like. You know that people are going to be interested in what you've created, and they, you know, you'll be able to talk with them as fans, and you'll know that uh, that they know you love it as much as they do. Correct. You know, and there's um, already a kinship. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, when I when I came in 2016, it was just on a lark, you know, and I was calling my co-writer on the comics, uh, J.C. Vaughn, uh, to come. I was like, you have to come. And when we came in 2018, I was he's like, I don't know if I can afford it. I was like. I'm not going to F bomb on program. I was close, but I stopped myself. I said, F you, I'm going to pay for your ticket. Uh, you, have, you have to come wow. to this yeah. thing. And he did. And now we're working on getting our publisher here because he's, he's actually trying to get uh, renew the license to do more, to do more Stargate comics, wow. uh, including all three. You know, and, um, and hopefully, whatever comes after those three. Well, you know, so. But I, it's, it's a tremendous experience. I mean, and I've met so many great people. I've met these young ladies. I've met you over the years. And it's just like, you know, it's it, you walk into this place, and it's not like there's a level of 
nervousness or anything. It's like you just know you're camaraderie. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's already there, and it's not like um, it's not like going into one of those giant mm -hmm. kind of mega conventions. That yeah, those like feel so impersonal. Yeah, it yes. does feel correct. So impersonal. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Be fun, for sure. I feel like I've been heard at like cattle and other conventions. Correct. Well, yes, with indeed. this one, I feel so appreciated, and you know, in every in every way for everyone. You know. Absolutely. Well, you know, I'll, I will share kind of a. Well, I can't share that joke. That's not good. <laughs> I will tell I you would, guys offline, but... I would like you to share something oh, before yes. you go. Yes, please. Would you roll up your left sleeve? Oh. oh. Do you want me to hold your bear or something? Oh, yes, please. I'm seeing universe yes. gate coordinates. Yes. Oh, wow. So, this is... Oh, I don't. Is this, can, go is over it, here. Okay. And look at the oh, behind you. Oh, I love you. it. Okay. Oh, I want so, it. What we'll show people... I've already had one fan ask me about this today. Is that Earth? This is the address for Destiny. Yes, Destiny. That's the address yeah. for Destiny. Yes. I wow. Found, I found, you know, they would do the memos on the show uh, for um, because they knew that fans are attentive. Correct. But if you go online, you can find the production where they have specified the address. And what's interesting is that these, these files that would come out, I guess they would go to the art department and the special effects people. Of, there, was, there would be the gate address that would be in the script. And then there would be... Um, kind of coordinates, things that they would enter into whatever mechanisms were controlling the prop yeah. so that the addresses would come up correctly, which to me is like, just you know, that's a whole other project Correct. besides making a TV show. And so, you know, I had never thought I would ever get a tattoo in my life, you know, because me it's too. like, yeah, I'm like, my, well, my ex-girlfriend said, yeah, we all got Stargate tattoos now. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah. She's oh, got, there you go. Uh, Nicole, show yeah, yours. Up, up to the, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, my first one ever. Less awkward than mine. Mine's on my leg. <laughs> my ex-girlfriend said it was because I was commitment phobic. That wow. I would never get that's a true. Yeah. The kind only of. one I've ever thought of is actually a Starfleet Delta. Yep. I want to Maybe right idea. here. So, Absolutely. Yeah. It's a fantastic but idea. that's beautiful. I'd get it really, really tiny, like right, right along my wrist, I Well, think. this the, the whole idea was because we did Stargate Universe in comics. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to get the Where can I buy those? The, Online. Uh, they are, unfortunately, about the only place you can buy them online in printed form is eBay. And oh. I found out they are running fairly expensively. But can I download them on Kindle on Amazon? Uh, comics. If you have um, an Amazon account or an Amazon Prime account, yep. I believe you have access to Comixology. And I they, do. They are all yes. on there. Oh, that's Everything, cool. Everything's right. on there. And um, I'm going to hit my reading goal this year with those. <laughs> that's how I read them, actually, because my... The compliment, the comp copies I would get as for writing the comic were stolen out of the mailroom of my apartment complex. What? Yes, yeah. I was like, this is twice in my life I've had comics stolen that were being shipped to me. Oh, what, but what was added insult to injury was the fact that there was a shipment of vitamins there that they opened the box and left the vitamins. Oh, jeez. You know, they're like, ah, that's, oh, wow. that's crap. They don't want the healthy yeah, thing. They want the cool thing. focus, not they health took the, focus. They took the comics and ran. Wow. Wow. But the whole idea behind the tattoo, though, was... I wanted something kind of personal, you yeah. know, and just this idea of destiny was important. You know, I actually, agreed. I, 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 and, and it's um, a conversation starter. Actually, yeah. well, can I tell you a story about my online dating experience with this tattoo? Briefly. Very briefly. Uh, I have a picture of this on a dating profile site that I won't name. Um, and I said, if you can guess what this is, you know, I'm. You're my I'll, girlfriend. <laughs> I'll take you to dinner. At least, at the very least, I'll buy you a beer. See, I would have gotten it instantly, but I'm taken already, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had one uh, um, a one woman send me a message back. She says, "Is that Morse code?" You know, she says, and I was just like, "Sorry, darling, you ain't make the cut." Yeah, sorry, next. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. That was it. That was it. You know, but I was like, you know, you deserve to know everything. I got a, a Stargate tattoo, and I live with two cats. There so you go. The Those the are the deal. big ones. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, man. I thank appreciate you. you. Absolutely. And we'll be in touch real soon, all right? Oh, please. That would be great. Thank the cats would have been a deal breaker for me anyway, oh, so yes. this wouldn't have worked out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I just don't like them. I'm a dog yeah. person. Same. Well, I'm a dog person, too. The building had restrictions. Oh. So, oh. See, almost, oh. it almost yes. worked out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, well, brother. You. you keep the beer. Keep the you beer. have a good time. I'll get you a beer later, though. Oh, I appreciate it. Right. Very Thank much. You. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. What a nice guy. What an incredible evening. Are we done? No. Lord. Do you want to wrap? No. <laughs> <laughs> are we done? Was me First of all, I was like, are we happen. done yet? Do you want to wrap? No. No, thank you. Thank you. That is too funny.
Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I have to make inappropriate jokes sometimes because uh, I don't know what else to say. It's called a coping mechanism. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very much Chandler. <laughs> Chandler from Friends is like, is me. I, what time, time is it? Uh, too late? Um, oh, it's uh, quarter to 11. No. Yeah. Wow. I, I got my shirt signed by David Blue, but I think it's inappropriate, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna. Yeah, I think it's double, do double, double meaning. Yeah, I can't say that on yeah. television. I put a naughty word on uh, Alan's shirt as well while he Jeez. gave me the, ch the chance. So our next guest um, uh, is is a uh, is he still there signing is is doing his thing, but I, I'd rather you sit with me than him. So I'd like to go girl boy girl boy again. Coming over. Yeah, I think we've done pretty much every permutation possible of these musical chairs. Indeed, so indeed. This is no uh, oh, Francis. Can we still roll credits afterwards? Yeah. That's oh, what here he comes. Okay, we got some time though. I appreciate Woo! you. Yeah, let me know when. Be in touch. Are we live? Are we shooting now or not? We are oh, we're shooting live. now. Nice. We're in the middle we of it. Live. Nice. Hey. Live. From Am I the Vancouver. last? Am I the last one? That'd be kind of neat if I book in. You're not the last I, one. I was the first one in the middle. You last could be, one. depending on how long you talk. Th this oh. night goes on forever. We're gonna be until <laughs> 5 a.m. <laughs> You realize there's no music in this party right now. Thank That's God because, for it, because it'd be struck on copyright on YouTube. Right now, People are mad at us oh, about this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hey, you got to get your mask signed. Or you can put some teeth on it or something. Oh, this is good. Well, I'm going to get my shirt. Fun, I want then yeah. she's going to get high on shirt. the fumes. <laughs> Dude, those are, that's real. Like, those things. I'm serious. <laughs> right? Get dizzy. I want to get you to sign my shirt. Did you not have mimeograph paper in school? <laughs> Seriously. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna you Hold on, how did it all go for you guys? Was it the whole convention? We've, oh, we've been we talking about it. We want to know we about you. Yeah, class. we had an amazing time, and you guys are all just amazing. No, I, so. look, I always have a great time. Look, GateCon is... Ah, I'm, I'm tired of talking about how different and how wonderful GateCon is. But it's yeah. true. So, it's, look, it's always... It's great. Yeah. Um, Anything in particular from this convention that stood out? Yeah, what made us make this better for you? Well, you finally made it to mm. general, apparently. Yeah, the... the t <laughs> oh, you know what? No, honest to God, because I haven't stopped talking about it. Um... Like, I haven't been in Vancouver in a long time. And I haven't seen a lot of these guys in a long time. Right. And these are my friends. And I, right. I, I know it's going to sound kind of, let me, let me preface it. Um, like, we all came up together. We used to go and on. When we didn't have, none of us had a pot to piss in. We didn't have two nickels to rub together. Mm -hmm. And we knew each other through showing up at auditions. And then Misery Loves Company. And, and you'd go out for a beer, and, and this was your peer group, these were your friends, and then you celebrated the successes, you know? Because you'd, you'd be like, oh, wow, man, Jonesy got a gig, way to go, awesome. You'd be right. happy for these names and these people that you know, you know? It's like, yeah, man, you know, Dan got a gig, it's like, awesome. Hey, I heard you got a gig, yeah, man, it's great, way to go. Cunningham, you got one, yeah, I got one. So you were a part of something, you didn't realize it, but now, like we're all older, and let's say we've achieved a measure hopefully of, of, wiser. of success, <laughs> yeah. hopefully wiser. But like, and now we're looking back on something. And I also realized, because look, you have wives and you kids and you move away and you do things and, and life does what it does. But um, sitting at that table read, the, the rehearsal table read we did for the script, like nobody was in a rush to get out of there, man. It was it just- was so funny. It was just nice to just sit down and it's like, wow, like you, you, you just forget, you just forget that you were a part of something, that you have friends that maybe you haven't thought about in a while. Right. And then it was a real thing and it was a wonderful thing. And, and it was just so nice to be in this company again. I found myself laughing in ways. Like the, 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 the quality of my laughter was weird. And I thought, oh my God, I used to laugh like this more. Right. I can't remember hearing that sound of my laughter coming out. That frequency. Out. Yeah, yeah, and just the quality of it was just different. It was like a younger me. And I found myself instantly, I'm like, oh wow, yeah. I, You've I, come home. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And that's, and when you're in the, when you're, at other conventions, it's a little different. It's a little more commercial, a little more. Uh, we got to get you over here, and you're monitored, and you 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 refrain from being yourself. Is this okay? And yeah. it's just, you're just on the watch. Whereas here, everybody just kind of just shows up as they are, and it's and it's wonderful. And it's just it's just great, man. We're all hanging back in the green room, 
and the good time that we're having on stage, like it's a really good your, time. Your performance was so brilliant; it threw it threw me back. Oh, that was all. Gate. That was so, lies. That like, was all. <laughs> totally <laughs> fake. It, it was. It was so great to see you guys kind of fall back into your old characters again because it's like the magic is still there, and uh, and I felt like I was uh, you know a kid again watching it for the first time fresh and getting excited for a new episode. You know. Oh, it's just it's just great. Look, it's just it's just great to see everybody. It just yeah. really really is because we don't we don't we used to see each other all the time. We were going out for auditions. We don't, we don't do that anymore, you know what I mean? And some of us are maybe a little more, I don't know, you get kids and things, things your life changes. So, but here it's just, uh, it's just great. It's just wonderful. And the fans, like, I mean, I'm seeing people that I've known now for like 20 years and it's like, holy crap, it's you know? It's amazing, yeah. So, look, it's just, it's just wonderful. I mean, it just is, it's just great. Well, I appreciate you continuing to be a part of this. And you know, continuing to be a part of uh, this this community, my life personally, and you know, continue to be so gracious with your time. Well, I appreciate. Look, so. being on Battlestar Galactica was the greatest. <laughs> so say we all. So say we all. <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, here's the GateCon 2022. Here's to everyone in the Stargate community, SG1, Atlantis, Universe. Um, Man, let's just hope that universe just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You Absolutely. Know? So, uh, We've got thank, some room to grow. Thank you all. You've all been wonderful. Thank you. Thank Love you, brother. And, uh, that's it. Yeah? Absolutely. Davis signing. General <laughs> Davis. Davis. Well, that, oh, that hit me. <laughs> there it is. Thanks, you guys. See ya. I want, I want Tracy next. Wow. That was fuh. Tommy Terry. Did I get it right this time? Tommy, Tommy Terry? Terry? The Brit. Tommy Terry Green. My fellow Brit. Tommy Terry Green. Uh oh. Bye, Simone. Bye, Simone. Uh, Cambridge, yeah. I'm, I'm a fancy fart. Yeah, it yeah. is. I'm from Essex, which is the opposite. Opposite of fancy. <laughs> so what uh, what football clubs then? Oh, I hate football. Okay, well, Sorry. there we go. Yeah, me too. No, I love it. I'm oh. a Man United fan. Okay. I thought we could bray out over that. Never no, mind. No, 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 no. I pretended I didn't like football for a long time, but... I Why? Um... I'm like a big fan of musicals and stuff. So oh, I love musicals. Yeah, yeah, I was like a musical theater kid for a while. Yeah. yeah. So it's like weirdly like the opposite. So I, I um, pretended I didn't like football so I could fit in with the musical theater kids. Mm. Oh, no. that, that classic Hollywood story that they keep turning out. You know. <laughs> I just want to say I'm from Cambridge, but I'm proudly uneducated. So don't expect anything <laughs> too smart from me. So Tommy Terry Green is with the companion, and uh, has it been a successful uh, event? The AI reading. Uh, I reading. wish I could say it went off without a hitch. Um, Mostly. My gosh. Oh but, my god, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> it, it, ended, it ended amazingly with that artwork. I think she was trying to just ham up some publicity. I think. I, think I, was, I suppose I think so. She wanted planned. the attention. Yeah, no, that, was, that was, yeah, dreadful. I'm so if sorry. We talk that about, if you're questioning what we're talking about, rewind two hours and you'll find out. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to erase it from the memory of the internet, but sadly keeps being brought back up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, she's just got to own it now. She knows it. But, um, was it a success? I think so. I, the thing for me is, whenever we've done these AI things in the past, whenever we watch the audience reaction to it, it's a YouTube chat box. So the funny moments, we just see like, oh, look, people are chatting a lot. They're ha, saying, ha, 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 oh, typed oh, in. Yeah. So seeing a live audience laugh along with me, I mean, I was crying laughing and I'd seen it before. Right. <laughs> but like, it was great to it was really funny. have someone sitting next to me that was laughing and crying as well. Like, it was amazing to see that side of it. So, oh, yeah. so they played a uh, preview of the Stargate Atlantis AI project, uh, one of the scenes involving McKay and a puddle jumper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when he's graffitiing yeah. and like part of the puddle yeah. jump, like, oh my gosh. I'll do it on the floor. I, 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 I the can't wait to see this again when they actually release it on the companion uh, YouTube channel yes, and yeah, website yeah, yeah. because it, it's, it's a riot. Yeah, it's I mean, the really is funny. Out next week. Um, okay. So, got that to look forward to. And yeah, probably early October, the whole thing will be available. It'll be a, around, I think they usually like. 60 to 90 minutes, so it'll be there's wow. a lot of stuff there, yeah. Wow. What I loved about, about the, this one so far that we got to see was the fact that um, during it, the characters felt like so in character, you know, like the AI had done such a, you guys done such a good job and the AI had, yeah. had produced something so, so good. It's and it was crazy so funny. to see. I mean, we were talking before we started recording the AI with um, R Rachel Latrell in particular, where she was saying she was nervous because she hasn't been Taylor in so long. And oh, she, she was, fell back into she it. She was like, I'm so worried about going back into it. You know, is it going to take me time? 
And it was crazy that she was the one saying that because for me, she was the one that like, was so same. Yeah. Into oh, it. Yes. I guess because Taylor's so like serious and like action and like you know whatever. And then Rachel was just like so fun and like, lovely. So I right, guess she it was turns the it on and off. Yeah. yeah. And she just went straight into it. it yeah. was As the so first impressive. officer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> I am the first officer. <laughs> yeah. So it was it was amazing to see that, and that that's been the best thing about these AI things is oh, just yeah. seeing these people like like with AI too. We had Rick like be Jack again and. There was that amazing scene with like the bomb joke. So if you've seen it, there's this running gag about like a bomb and is this a bomb and it looks like a bomb. Oh, that's right. I and do it, remember that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, it's it's it feels like the joke you'd write for Jack O'Neill. Right. Yes. And like like Rick just like delivers it as if he was just you know back on set and was t you know yeah. 25 years ago and it's it's amazing. Well, yeah. what's impressed me is like I've watched all the um, reiterations of the the AI scripts. And like the development from like the first one to this present one is just incredible. Yeah, the early ones felt very oddly it feels put very together. Yeah, and yeah. This, this one was like a perfect script. Like it made right. perfect sense. That's, that's the thing. I mean, the first ones, the scripts are so bad that it's actually really funny to oh, watch because it's, funny. it's yeah, so bad. Yeah, funny to watch. And then now it's like funny to watch because it's like, oh, actually, that could that be, is actually funny. Yeah, that's just like a bad screenwriter script. That's not like you know, it is. But like, like the dialogue felt like true to the characters. Yeah. Um, and the stories were actually pretty good. Like yeah, they yeah. kind of fell right into that universe. Yeah. Um, yeah. The only thing that didn't make sense is that McKay just felt so helpful initially. He was really willing to help. Oh, that he was, was like a, a superhero. He was like, yeah. stand by, I'll save you. It's yeah. like, oh, you know, yeah. I, I feel like the, the the script is compensating because Joe Flanagan wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> so, right, and David Hewlett yeah. was laughing at me because he knew that his character wouldn't do that. Yeah, I was like, right. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it's brilliant. No, it's. I mean, every time I talk to Lawrence Moroni from Google, who like developed the AI, um, I, I keep Great asking guy. him like, "Oh, what are we gonna do next?" And he keeps the, the answer he gives me changes, and it's better every time. So he goes, "Oh, if you ask me five months ago, it's this answer. If you ask me, you know, now it's that answer. If you ask me tomorrow, it's probably that answer." So it's right. it's, it's kind of like a proton so quickly, right? <laughs> yeah. Constantly evolving. It's, so who knows where it's gonna go? Um, He's super keen to keep doing these. Brad's super keen to keep doing these. Um, I'm super keen to watch more. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'll pay for more, please. I, think, I mean, we've done we've done SG One like, twice now. We've done Atlantis. You know, maybe Universe next. Who knows? Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, know. David Blue back in the role as Eli. Oh, yes, I please. think that that's a natural. You know, I'm not revealing Absolutely. anything. He's got it. I'm just saying what I would like to see. And know. I would pay to see that. You know. Tommy, you need an endorsement. Thank you so much. Oh, thank it's you. been a pleasure meeting you. I know. And, uh, After all these years. I right? know. I'm continue. Uh, I'm continuing to look forward to work. Looking forward to continuing to work with you. Yes, so, me too. Thanks so much for your time, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. We're about to wrap it up here. Oh, it's in the actually next coming few to minutes. an end. It's actually coming to an end. Whoa. Um, Linda, can you find Francis for me? Can you find Francis for me? What is your name? I'm Jesse. Jesse. What did you do as a volunteer this year? I helped out at uh, outside line management of a couple of photo booths or photo ops. Is this your first, um, about five minutes? Is this your first uh, time volunteering at GateCon? I volunteered, or I was available to volunteer last time. Uh, there, were, there were a lot of volunteers, but I still got to try and help out and float wherever I could. So is this your second GateCon? Second GateCon, yes. What is the memory from this event that you're going to take with you? Uh, chilling on the <laughs> patio and everyone, we just acquire more people out on the patio when we're just, whether it be new friends and fans or, or guests and stars, it's like, we're all chilling out the bed, eating lunch on the patio. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a, you feel really special for a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. I only for a minute. <laughs> oh, well, it's a nice long minute though. <laughs> yeah. The spontaneous events that become lifelong memories here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are the ones that I don't know why, but they continue to surprise me. And it's like, of course, I'm gonna bump into so and so and and have a good time with them, you know. I mean, it's like, or have an opportunity to do that, yeah. you know? Yeah. My expectations were already pretty high, and somehow they were exceeded. You know, you described this before, it's an experience, you know? Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's, it's quite magical, you know? Good job on holding it all together and, you know, doing well, your thing. you know, I had some practice last time, and you know, I, still, I still got that way a little bit this time, but I, I, I kept my cool a little more than I thought I would. 
Yeah. And then got got home and was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you helping you to so make much. this possible. We really appreciate it. And we're going to finish off with uh, one more over here. If you wouldn't, if we wouldn't Thank mind trading so you off. Thank you for saying something. Thank you. Here. Yeah. You're going to finish us off. Batter up. Oh, no. That's, that's a lot of pressure. I know, right? <laughs> Make sure we're still on. Am I? Testing, testing. One, two, okay. three. Hello, Francis, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Perfect. All right. We're good. What we're is good. your name? My name's Josie Robertson, and I'm from Washington State in America. <laughs> did you volunteer? What did, how, how did you help volunteer this weekend? Um, well, I, one of my, well, I, not one of, my best friend, um, Jessie, we met in- Just came on. Yes, Aww. that was her. She's, Get off and let's give her a she, hug. Yes, she's my woman. This is my lady. I love Soul her sister. very, Aww, Soul Sisters great. for Life. She's never allowed to leave that's me. That's stealing our name. <laughs> <laughs> I met her in Jiu-Jitsu, and I saw her Tolkien tattoo for Lord of the Rings, and I was like, Oh, I like there her. you go. I, I, I needed to get to know her. I hear that. And um, just through time, she, she learned of my, kind, I have a, a bit of an obsession with Space, and I go. I went on what I call one of my space rants, and uh, she was like, "You know what? I think there's a show you might be interested in." And and this was a month ago. Wait, wait. So you did it? So you're brand new. I am fan? about as new as it gets. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, so I started watching about a month ago. Um, My gosh. Are you I'm in series? season three, almost season four. Of SG1? Oh, wow. Yeah, what I've been You are the people we look for. <laughs> Here she is in the wild. How many spoilers? And we have captured we her, and we are not letting Jesus her go. <laughs> I did, I did uh, get some spoilers, but it's worth it still. She is currently in the middle of Dead Man Switch. Yes. Yes, no, I am. That's a fun I episode. Am. It's, it's, it's intense. Who's your favorite um, character so far? Oh. It has to be a cross between uh, Dr. Fraser and Captain Carter. I, a lady. Major Carter. Ma well, but doesn't she get promoted? Major. Major, major pardon my, my, my Season speak, four. But. but you're good. Yeah, she, uh, so growing up, you know, you just don't necessarily get those examples of, of strong women who are really, like, like I used to watch Xena. Yeah. Because it was the closest thing, you know what I mean, that I could find Second to, like, someone say. being taken serious as a woman, you know, in that kind of field. And um, Lucy Lawless is always a badass. Well. She's <laughs> right? awesome. And I just thought, you know what? Like, I really wish I would have had those two as an example growing up. And, and I had the uh, opportunity to tell Dr. Fraser that. And oh, I, good. And she Carol's hugged wonderful. me. I was going to say, yeah, you you were the one. You were the one that saw like, the puddle. I was the puddle. I was the puddle. I was the one that screamed. Sorry about the spoilers yes. from behind. And the spoilers, because then they talked about how she died. I was going to say, was you cried. Um, dear, you're going to be crying again. I know. And, and I, I will be crying when, when Fraser, I really, because I'm going to school for uh, neuroscience. I'm going to school to be a neuroscientist. Nurse, so I really okay. identify with Dr. Fraser. Well, be prepared for be one of the prepared. most amazing. Ep hey, sorry. Dun 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 dun. No, dun. <laughs> be prepared for an amazing two hours of television. Really, bring the oh, tissues. Oh yeah, it's great. It's I'm an very incredible episode, but it's it's very gut wrenching. No matter I'm how crying. many times you see it, yeah. it's so well done. It's a really good episode. I'm excited I, for you. I'm, I'm excited too, standby. but I'm a little scared. <laughs> but we're going to be here with you in spirit. I know. And yeah. the next time this comes up, I'm definitely going to come. I had a All month's right. notice. I've watched literally uh, a, a, a season a week. I've been yeah. just binging. and, and I, I can't Oh, my wait. friend got COVID for two weeks. He binged as well. He binged five. I can't wait more. So I'll you're going to be, be wrapping up by New Year's. Yep, yep, by New yeah. Year's. And, and whenever you guys have the next one, I'll come out. And I'll be I'll be caught up. We can we have can, real conversation. And tune in to Dial the Gate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, watch our show. Tune in, guys. Come on. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was great. I'm excited. See you guys next year. <laughs> Bye. Bye. When, what are you planning? Well, well, or the year after, so whenever. I'm attached to you. I'm attached to you. This is your chance to close us out. Really? What do I say? Um, well. Am I correct in, in calling uh -oh. us gators? Is there. that what it's That's called? Very much so. yeah. Yeah. Go gators. Be a gator. Be a gator. Be a gator. Make it rain like gators do. Tracy, get over here. Bye. Bye-bye. Tracy, Bye -bye. just a second. Thank just a second before watching. we let you go. Tracy. Tracy, say something. Tracy. Keep looking up at the sky. Um, one of our uh, one of our moderators, whom uh, uh, you've only heard her audio, but um, she is at my back. She is another right hand, Aww. and uh, you reached out to me and helped us create this show together. Yes. Um, I'm thrilled to have you here. This is so Yay. good. Thank you, David. This is amazing. Would you do me uh, the favor and the 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 courtesy, Darren? Get over here now. Darren, Darren, you've been summoned. Just 
We're Thank saying you. goodbye. We're saying goodbye. Would you do me the courtesy of um, saying my words <gasps> to close out the show? Oh my gosh. Of 150. Episode 150, yeah, Linda. No Come on, everybody. Uh, dial the gates. Get in here. Um, dial in close. She in. We got room for her. 150. 150. My producer, Linda. You let me on the microphone. Come here, Linda. No. Oh. Tracy? You do great at it. You know the magic word? Oh, look. We've got oh another. Into the mic, We've Tracy. got more. We'll see you on the other side. Bye. Bye. Bye.